welcome back to the SSC Arena in Belfast for this Continental Cup clash between the Stenline Belfast Giants and GKS Katowice. Game four of the weekend, another game this afternoon with an 8-2 victory to Ireland, who said top of the week. Group with six points, two wins, and another big game potentially tomorrow night against the Stenline Belfast Giants. But first, the Giants up against Katowice. Both teams just coming out onto the ice right now. I'm Simon Kitchen, delighted to be joined by Davy McJimsey. Davy, it's going to be a real tough battle out here tonight because these two teams have already played each other this year. The Giants will be looking to try and get that win after Calabisa won 4 2 in the semi finals. As you say, Simon, we've had a look at each other back in November then, you know, Calabisa coming out with a 4 2 win at that time. But I think we talked earlier about, you know, for me, that game changed on the major penalty to Kevin Ray. Bit of a soft one, you've always got to, you know, be careful when you're up against these different styles of referees and what you're used to. They were able to take that to their advantage, go on, push on the 4 2 win. New game tonight. The, uh, obviously, we're going to go down to Joel Neal very shortly, get news on the starting goaltenders tonight. But first of all, let's have a look at the star, the rosters for, first of all, the Belfast Giants. An unchanged lineup here this evening. The only player missing out is Gillam Jelena, who's out on injured at the minute. And obviously, you know, a, there's a lot of big teams out there, Dibby. A lot of big players out there. Yeah. Good performances last night. That was great. We've got scoring from all the lines and, and you know, a, a lot of hard work from the Ferdinand and Bishop line there. You know, good to get people amongst the goals. Rutherford coming up with a lovely tip in from the outside. Josh Roach bringing on fans from the blue line as well. Jim Vandermeer, NHL veteran with almost 500 games. Coming up with the goods as usual. Also, let's have a chance to look at Katowice. Their nine up again, littered with talent for Finnish players in there. Led last night by Jesse Rolta. Rolta with a lovely backhand effort over the shoulder of the goaltender last night. And uh, again, they've got they've got some real quality in that squad. Simon, back to the front, they're very good. You know, Linda Skog and Nets from them did what he had to do. Um, you know, as you say, Yurki O on the, on, on the blue line, wrong and full of skill. Let's have a chance to go down ringside and chat with Joel Neal. Good evening, gentlemen. Yes, here we go. The great rematch. Uh, Katowice Belfast, no stranger to each other. Played each other in the last round. Very, very tight game. Starting in the Katowice goal tonight, Kevin Linskook, a goaltender that we're also no stranger to. Domestically this season, 20 games played with a 1.58 GAA and a 9.47 save percentage. And of course, in the Belfast net tonight, the one and only Tyler Beskarowani. Domestically, he's 32 games played, 1.98 uh, goals against average and a 0.929 save percentage. Here we go. Joel, thanks very much for your time. We'll catch up with you during the first period. Your officials tonight, Alexander Garon. Oh, that's just taken away from me at the wrong time. Alexander Garon and Andreas Koch on the armbands. The assistant, Martin Jobagi and Tornik Kuchava from Georgia. Divi, keys to the game tonight. First goal is going to be vital, Simon. But most important for me is playing five on five. We saw Katowice yesterday. Excellent power play. So, minutes, actually seconds away from face-off here at the SSC Arena. The home team tonight will be the Belfast Giants. They'll be able to get the last change. Giants starting with Dustin Johnner, Lewis Hook, Colin Shields, Curtis Leonard and Josh Roach. As Joel said, Tyler Beskarani and Ned Rolta. Wapowski, Lockinen, Tukinen and Yurkio for the Poles. The champions of Poland last year. And Kevin Linscog gets the start in net. We're off and running. Game four of the Continental Cup Finals weekend at the SSC Arena. Poland now, or, oh my apologies, like Katowice. Wapowski now tries to send that up and well picked off by Lewis Hook. Had a really, really good game last night, did I? Yeah, I think this whole line, Simon, did really well last night. Down low on the cycle, getting the pucks back up. Maybe didn't get this net as much as it, but you know, Shields coming off the bench and creating a goal. Took it and you got a goal last night. Lets it off to his counter, finish card depart. Rolta, round behind for Josh Roach. Josh Roach has had uh, 12 points in the last... How many games, David? Last five games, Simon. Last five games, an absolute solid player. Colin Shields returned to the lineup last weekend against the Sheffield Steelers after being out for three months. Got his first goal of the season last night. And uh, he'll be feeling good about himself again. Giants making a change, coming onto the ice now. Darcy Murphy, Blair Riley and David Rutherford. Coming through the middle, they've tried to pick that up. It's going to be offside call, though. And there's a face-off outside the Giants. And nice crowd in here for a Saturday night, considering Ulster Rugby have just finished 
at the Ravenhill Stadium. Indeed, Simon, over 400 Katowice fans in here making a great din down here, right? Belfast Giants represented by the Boomerang corner up there, just equally in noise. Katowice have been really entertaining this year in their two visits, or well, their two weekend visits, obviously in November, and then they came in there on Thursday, seem to be enjoying themselves in Belfast, and they are loud, properly loud. They're also in the box beside us here. So if you hear a background cheer, hopefully you won't, but you never know, because we're all non-fast here on the Giants webcast. Having to back up into his own zone now is Martin. Second shake, second shake attempts are cross ice to Ronka. Ronka tried to pat it out, takes a hit from Darcy Murphy. Puck ends up breaking down into the corner once again. Frasco being battled by David Rutherford coming away with it. Is Ronka to the blue line, shot coming in, looking for a tip in front, good save by Bess Gurwani. Really for nine, up the wall, breaks into the neutral zone, Darcy Murphy giving chase, sends it inside to Blair Riley, Riley in the circle, takes a shot, good glove save by the goaltender, Ninscock. Really nice work from the Belfast Giants, Darcy Murphy, David Rutherford having a word in front, Murphy releases the captain, Blair Riley, he's able to get a shot away, lovely work down low from Frasco and Ronka there to create something for Katowice, Tyler Bess Gurwani paddles it away to the corner. 132 gone in the first, nil nil. Out comes Patrick Dwyer. Patrick Dwyer, one and one last night. And he's playing alongside Chris Higgins and Kyle Bond. Face off up against Philip Starzinski. Philip Starzinski wins that one, sends it back to Yurkio. Yurkio, round behind for Tukin and Tukin. And Again, tries to step up, and Urbanovic is taken out of play by Jim Vandermeer. He stepped up. Vandermeer keeps it in the blue line. Sends it, tries to send it down. No second opportunity, and dumps it into the far corner. Dwyer. Inside. Chance for, for the Giants, which is Vandermeer. He can't get it out of his feet. And unfortunately for him, and big hit there. There's going to be a penalty on the play, though. Garsight is going to be going to the penalty box as Shazovsky. Ends up floored and an interference call coming away on Mark Garside. So a quick power play opportunity for the pole, Dibby. Yeah, they're just trying to get out of the zone here and Mark Garside steps up into the hit. And I think he's been called for interference there, Simon. And uh, I think he's lucky enough there to get just the two minutes for interference. So an early power play opportunity for Katowice, Rota back out there on the ice, locking him to his right, and Wapowski to his left, wins it back to the blue line again. Tukin in on the blue line, locking it, sees it inside. Four finished players out on the ice for Katowice, back to the blue line. Tukin in with a shot, doesn't get the whole way through, chance to get a hold of it, and stripped up, but no call. On that play, it was Darcy Murphy, did we? Well, I was, I, was, I was looking for both referees there to see which one would have their hand there. Unfortunately for us, neither, Simon. Here comes Tukin and Tukin with a big slap shot last night and got the Katowice side up and running after being 3 0 down at the end of the first period. Rolter comes in. It's taken away from him by Patrick Dwyer. What a toe drag. Here comes a chance. Two on one opportunity. Jonathan Ferdinand. That's just a stick in their lane at the right time. That's a great bit of defensive work by Katowice. Great defensive work and date. Unbelievable skills from Patrick Dwyer there to set up the two on one, but unfortunately, he just can't connect with Furley. Your kill passes it over, goes for a change. Here comes Patrick Ronka. Ronka feeds it inside. Lovely move by Frasco. Frasco tries to get around the defense, ends up into the back door. There's a chance there, but Malasinski couldn't get the shot away. It goes round behind the net of Tyler Pesker. Wani Frasco to Ronka. Ronka is a man positioned in front of the net. Deveca back to. Devenko on the top of the blue line, winds up, looking for a shot again, good block by Fernand. Devenko with another opportunity, fakes a shot, sends it through, but it ends up with a deflection into the far corner. McFall can't clear, good pressure from the Polish outfit. Again, Malasetsky sends it inside, lovely goal, chance coming in, what a save from Tyler Biskarawami! Unbelievable! Simon, this is one that'll be replayed for many, many years to come. That is simply sensational save. He had no right to make that, although the forward really needs to do better there with Burry and that. But, you know, Tyler Beskarani throws that big mid up in the air and unbelievably keeps the, the score at 0-0. That is the save of the tournament so far. 
we will try and bring you a replay of that in the next period break and we will go down and get a chat from Joel Neal who was right behind that and right in line from it so ringside reporting at its best we'll bring it to you at the next period or next stop he's in play still on the par play though chance now with an opportunity Kai Bond he's in behind the defence break it down the right side he's in looking for an opportunity there great toe save right on the post this is going to go end to end all night let's hear from Joel Neal yeah, thanks, Simon. Obviously, the key to the game tonight for the Belfast Giants is to stay out of the box. These are minutes we absolutely do not need. Although, the penalty kill is absolutely dogged so far, and what a save from Tyler Beskarawani. Absolutely no business seeing that on the back door and getting the glove right into the center of goal. Complete re reflex reaction uh, save. Completely unbelievable, and the Giants are still in this. Thanks very much, Joel. Again, David, right in line from us. Joel, where he's standing. What a save. Oh, oh, oh. We've talked about that save quickly there. They trans you know, Bonner transitions, goes down the right wing. Linus Kai, outstanding save from him as well, Simon. Yeah, absolutely. Again, the chance. That was a short-handed opportunity for Kai Bond there. Hopefully we'll be able to bring you a replay of that save from, uh, from Tyler Beskarwani at the next stop in some play. We're back to 5-on-5. Five five. Chance knock that off the wall through Boxall. Here comes Mark Garside. He jumped into the play. Coming out of the penalty box. Garside around the defenceman. Cuts to the front of the net. Garside with a shot. A second opportunity. The puck breaks free. Garside ends up taking a big cross check there. No call on the play. But a great opportunity there for the chance defenceman. Simon, you can see the, the skills of, of Mark Garside there. You know, former forward playing defence now. For me, that's a cross check straight in the back there. And should have been two minute penalty at least for Mark Garside. He's very disgruntled about that. Dwyer once again spins one way on the other. He's got a man coming to the back door. It's tipped off the wall though. And Mark, or sorry, Paul Swindler has to retreat back into his own end to cover that up. Vandermeer up the left to Dwyer. Dwyer into the zone. Feeds it to the back door. Looking for a tip in front through Bishop. Out front from that time from Blair Riley. A couple of mixed up lines here from Coach Adam Keefe. And trying to keep us on our toes, Davey. I think the lines just haven't got settled down there with a bit of a change going on. I think you'll get the usual three out here now. Tukkanen slows things down, sends it across to Yerkio, back to Tukkanen again. Finish defenseman, as I say, got that goal last night. And he played a great tournament for the semi final. That's dumped in just over the blue line and had to go to a treat back below the goal line again for Katowice just over the five minute mark. Nil nil, chances at both ends. And make sure you watch the highlights of this one. It has been two absolutely brilliant saves, one each for both goaltenders in the first five minutes of this game. Now, coming out of the corner, well done by Kevin Rain. Wapowski impeded his move forward there. Kevin Rain sends it under the stick that time of Rutherford. Rutherford misplays it and round behind the is Wapowski. Wapowski to the side, gets it out again to Sakashik, who dumps it back down into the corner again. McFall loses the stick, gets it back and has to walk back up the wall to Vecca. Sends it down to Lackinen. Lackinen, good cycling off the puck here from Poland, or sorry, from the Katowice side, and if we can get a chance to look at that replay from that save of Tyler Beskarowani. Here it is, lovely play coming out. Heads up from Malasinski. He sends it across ice. What a pass there, and taking too much time was Derva Deveka, the goaltender. He's saying that it's over the line. That is a top, top, top save. Simon, you'll go a long way and win a long time to see another save as good as that. David, I'm being honest, I was expecting to call the goal for them. Honestly, he was lined up to call the goal, and that's just an unbelievable reflection save from the goaltender, Tyler Beskarawani. I don't think it was the only one, because I think all those Katowice fans in that corner would have been going a little bit nuts as well. That's over the neutral zone now, and back dumped in deep again by Deveka. He'll be having nightmares about that one tonight. Right, chance turn over the puck down their own corner, sticking the lane that time from... Curtis Leonard, big hit delivered on to Lewis Hook. Being a very physical battle to start this game off. That's taken away from him, fed inside by Dustin Johnner. And Katowice pick it up again and retreat back into their own end by the chance change up. Yes, Simon, it's been a physical start from both. Here's Ronk on the ice, and every time he's on the ice, you need to be aware of what he's doing. High skilled, high, very, very fast player. Abanowitz breaks down the left wing, using the big body to protect the puck. Round behind now, good play by Kyle Bond, trying to separate the man from the puck. And there's going to be a penalty in the play here. A real battle down low. We'll wait and see who gets the call. And it looks like it's going to be Urbanowitz for tripping. So the Giants on a power play opportunity. 12.47 to go in the first period. Bit of a delayed call there. A bit of a delayed reaction. It might be said here, Simon. Um, you know, 
Josh Roach is his trip just on the play here as he spins away. One, two, two, three seconds before the referee puts his arm up, but you know, the right call made at the end of the day, and the Belfast Giants get their first opportunity on the power play. So, Giants' first power play opportunity of the evening. Face off circuit. Yes, they rolled back. Ford Catavita and Blair Riley. The captain of the stand line, Belfast Giants. Riley, 54 points this year so far. He's second in scoring only to Darcy Murphy. Just a little bit of confusion there between the officials. And Rolta being allowed back in again. Giants win the face off, tries to. Keep it in the zone this time through Vandermeer, sends it down low. Back up the wall again to the blue line, the ex-NSL player. Winds up, sends it through, blocked in front by Wapowski. Wapowski using that big frame to keep the puck clear outside. Vandermeer again winds up looking for a shot. Again, a good stick in the lane by Roll. They closed the D-man down so quick out that box, Davey. Everything starts with a good face-off win from Blair Riley. We're able to cycle it back up to Vandermeer. He has a couple of looks, no real lane to go through there. Sends passes back to him and he has a shot, but a big tip in front goes up into the net. Face off to the left of Vince Cook's net. Win by Rolta comes off the wall. Darcy Murphy looking to get a hold of that one, but the puck breaks back to the neutral zone of Vandermeer. Has to retreat. Jim Vandermeer cross ice to Riley. Riley now inside to Murphy. It's going to be an offside call out. David Rolliford jumping ahead of the play there. Let's get your. Actually, yeah, do you know what? Start sending your tweets in here, folks. Belfast Giants TV on Twitter. You can get myself at Kitchy16, and you can get Davey at Davey underscore MCG. Just send us a tweet. Let us know where you're watching the game from, and we'll give you a shout-out if we possibly can. 1.30 remaining on this penalty here for Urbanovic for tripping. Josh Roach, furthest man back for the Giants. A lot of skill out there with Chris Higgins and Patrick Dwyer. Dwyer feeds it. To the left side to Kyle Bond, Bond. Not on the stick, out time at Dwyer, a little bit of, again, miscommunication. Beskarani lays it off for Roach, who starts up ice. Josh Roach. Seems to be a lot of pucks sticking in the uh, in the player skates here to start this game off, giving. There's a chance here now, that's a little bit too far ahead of the on-rushing forward from Shazovsky. It's a good penalty kill so far. By Katowice, did we? It is, Simon. Obviously, you've got, you've got Chris Higgins just back in the club. Just maybe not right up to speed with the power play systems here. But, you know, Belfast Giants trying to set up camp here now. And it's cleared down the ice. Another good clearance once again by the captain, Tomas Malasinski. Again, Giants change up their power play unit. Van der Meer through the middle for Murphy. Darcy Murphy, 25 seconds remaining on the penalty. Puts the brakes on at the half wall to Vandermeer, back again, the top of the circle, Darcy Murphy winds up, takes a shot, and shoots just wide, Rutherford, coughs the puck up along the wall, and here comes Malasinski again, Malasinski tries to go around Vandermeer, good job by the Polish player, but the shot's weak and wide of the target, two seconds, and we're back to five on five, out of the penalty box, from Urbanovic, back to five on five, here comes Vandermeer now, Vandermeer, ahead to Rutherford, and onwards to Darcy Murphy, there's going to be another penalty here though. Touched up and another hooking call coming the way off Katowice. Driving the net, you know, you're going to get good things will happen if you drive in there in the Belfast chance. Get another chance on the power play. Maybe want to try and set up a little bit better than the last time. We just couldn't get any consistency in their zone. And, you know, our game's all about offensive zone pressure. Kavicevice, number 15, Damian Tomasic sits for two minutes hooking. Giants back on the PP again, now face off win and good clearance around the wall and touched up by Urbanowicz. Josh Roach through the middle of center ice and chance for Roach, he gets right through the fence, coming out of his net was Kevin Linskog, Linskog. 
quite happy to play that round. Comes off the referee skating. Sakashik in the corner, loses control of the puck. And it's held back up the wall again to the blue line. Roach goes D to D in the position of Patrick Dwyer. Back to Roach again. Roach to Dwyer. Then through the high slot, picked up the far side by Higgins. Higgins drives towards the net to Roach. Roach back out again to Dwyer. He's got a man at the back door, but again, sacrificing their body here this afternoon or this evening is the Katowice players. Davian doing a great job. Yeah, the Belfast Giants not getting any open lanes there. Down low again. Dwyer, top of the circle, shot coming in, hit the crossbar. What a shot from Kyle Bond. Off the medal, up into the safety netting. And a great opportunity for the Giants. I just see it again here, Simon. Pat Dwyer goes down low. Nice little spin back, and he's looking for Bond, stepping in off the top of the circles, and a shot just dings the top of the crossbar. 101 remaining on the penalty. Face off to the left of Linz Cook. One cleanly back to Van der Meer. Van der Meer seems to have been on the ice for a heck of a long time here in the first 10 minutes. Murphy takes a shot, tipped in front and just wide a target from Colin Shields. Back to the top and kept in by Van der Meer. Sends it down to Shields, comes off a skating. Good work and a great back check again by Wapowski. He starts off ice, Wapowski cuts inside. Tries to lay it off to Rolta, Jesse Rolta. Decides to take it off. There's going to be a penalty here for Darcy Murphy. Linscook heading straight to the penalty box. But uh, Wapowski keeps holding the puck, enters the zone. And are they going to call too many men on the ice as well? I thought they considered going too many men on the ice when the goaltender, he was smacking a stick there. Darcy Murphy heading straight for a two-minute call, and that's an easy call for the officials. Yeah, I think his, his stick gets tangled up in the equipment as much as it's a hook, but easy enough, straightforward call for the officials there. Are we going to have any four-on-four? Four? Yeah, four-on-four for 24 seconds or less, Simon, and then... Uh, Katowice will go on to a shortened power play. Adam Keith always talks about special teams and how important they are, both on the PK and the PP. 24 seconds of four on four, a lot of skillful players out there. And one of them is Patrick Ronka. Ronka tied up against the wall by Kevin Rain, coming in to help out his frash go. He can't get it through the legs of Patrick Dwyer. Chance again after a treat back to Dwyer. Dwyer steps out front and just showing strong on a stick. Feeds it inside to Lewis Hook. Hook, bit of space. Throws that towards the net. Good save by Linz Cook. And Linz Cook starts to play almost immediately to Patrick Ronka. Ronka inside. Lovely move by the Polish under 23 international. Lovely play again, but taken away from him. And we're back on the power play for Katowice. Out front shot coming in. Good save by Pesco. Looking for the jamming in at the back door there was Ronka. Ronka picks it up and steps out to the top of the circles. Frasco goes into the corner. Good play again here by Sakashik. Sakashik finds the Vecca on the blue line, just bounces off his skate, and it's cleared by the Giants. A lot of hard work and well done by Lewis Hook, and then unfortunately with a bit of a giveaway behind the room. That put us under pressure there for a few seconds, Simon, but a good clearance up the ice, and the Belfast penalty killers have to go to work here. Giants strip the puck, as a chance for Reddy front grade, saved by Lewis Cook once again. Kyle Bond, shot coming in once again, hand pass though. And a whistle, but a great effort by Kyle Bonner and Dustin Johnner. Johnner and, and Bonner going to work down low on the uh, penalty on the penalty killer, but coming up with offense from it as well. Let's go down and have a chat with Joel Neal to get his thoughts on how the first period's going. Thanks, Simon. Yeah, obviously we said at the start the Giants' key tonight is to stay out of the box. Unfortunate penalty there from Darcy Murphy. Just you're in a phase whenever the Giants were actually starting to turn on some offense. There's more pucks now heading towards Lenskog, and it's a good sign for the boys in blue. Or team. <laughs> blue. Well, sometimes they're a little bit colorblind, but we'll let you off that one, Joel. I'm trying to think who he's talking about in blue as well, but anyway, we'll carry on here. Katowice on the power play. Curtis Leonard, lovely pass out front. There's a chance for the Giants here to break forward in numbers. Josh Rose leading the attack over the blue line. Sends a shot in there, but good save again by Linz Cook. 19 seconds remain. Josh Roach, I didn't see that. Did you catch that? It's just a little stick in the skate, Simon. I'm not sure that it, you know, well, there was necessarily a trip or not, but definitely got tangled up with the, uh, the Canavici defender. Your kill. Inside. Four seconds to go. 
slowly move ahead once again. Urbanovic and Jim Vandermeer tangle, but puck breaks off to Vanatsky, he gets the shot away, and it takes a deflection into the corner. Popowski sends it down low. Jonathan Furlan under pressure, gives the puck away to Urbanovic, who steps out from behind the net there, tries to get a hold on Popowski with a difficult angle, takes a shot and a good save by Pescarowani. Chance now, moving forward, NBN action here, gets it in, just kept in, and it's been called offside by the official. From where I'm standing, David, that doesn't look as if it went over the line. I wonder if we can get another chance to look at that. Here it is coming forward. Great job by the angles and difficult to see from where that camera is there, but I don't think it went right across the line. It's right down at the other end of the ice. Starzinski's, you know, he's creating havoc down there, and Tyler Beskaran, and that gives the advantage of one of those big goal to it. Real tall goaltenders. When he goes down into that, you know, butterfly sort of stance of his, he's still able to cover the top of the net with the two big shoulders. Referee having a conversation here with head coach Tom Cohen on the Katowice bench. Pretty good crowd in the SSC Arena to the season. If you're watching online, hope you're enjoying the coverage, folks. Kravchuk chasing back into the corner, and Fanatsky helps it back around to the opposite side. Kept in along the wall initially. Ronka feeds it out to Vanatsky. Shot from 100 feet. Good save by Pescarwani. He helps that back into the corner again. Darcy Murphy. Murphy gets the wheels going. Breaking down this left wing. Sends it across to Riley. A little bit too far ahead of him. And Sekashik punches it forward. Ronka again. Little backhand inside. There's a foot race here. Tries to get past the defence. A great play by Kendall McFall. David Rutherford taken out of the play by Sekashik. It's brick. Forward shots for the Giants, tries to go back door. Unbelievable chance there for the Giants, but Chris Higgins passed it and maybe should have been better taking the shot, David. I just don't know whether it came on to the right hand for him and he had to try and do something special, but you know, it's popped back in front there. Linda Skag out of possession, but unfortunately for the Giants, we have to work it back to the blue line. And a shot from, from I think it's Kevin Rain and Blair Riley just can't get a tip on it. 5.42 go in this. First period, nil nil. The throat's going, David. The throat's going. I have to get some lozenges for the end of the period here. With another two games to call tomorrow. Defeca has just been demolished in the corner by Kyle Bond. Everybody enjoys a good body check. Defeca back up on his feet again. The backhand pass a little bit too far ahead, and Curtis Leonard picks that one up and taken back into the zone again by Patrick Dwyer, but. Chance break across ice. Chris Higgins now onto the backhand. Tries to spin away. Looks for a heads up play. He's hammered into the wall by Sakashik. Well, puck breaks out front again. There's a chance for Kyle Baum behind to Patrick Dwyer. Dwyer winds up. Thinks about the shot. Blocked in front. Lofted over the top of the net. Looking for a wrap around there was Chris Higgins. Really smart thinking and quick thinking by the Belfast Datsuk giveaway. Yeah, the, the puck's up in the air, a lot of D-men looking for it to come down, but the Belfast Giants reacting quicker there, and then this guy able to cover that right-hand post. Long stretch pass comes off the stick, Mark Garside back on the ice for his first shift after taking that knock at the opposite end of the ice, Vandermeer. Josh Roach ahead, looking for the pass inside from Jonathan Fernand to Boxel. Boxel takes a big hit in the corner and leaving his feet was the, the forward for that. Garside looking for a shot through the, the goaltender. Boxel again taken out of the play, and that's a heavy, heavy took off the Shizovsky there. Garside with another shot over the top of the goaltender. Boxel really being aggressive on this four check. David doing a great job so far. Yeah, he's going to need skates on his on his backside. The way things are going there, Sam, he's been uh, aggressive into the corners there once or twice, taking a big couple of heavy hits, but getting back up and getting on with it. 4.05 to go in this first period. Belfast nil. Katowice nil. Shout out to Chloe King watching in Leeds this evening. Hope you're enjoying the game, Chloe. We in love again watching from home this evening. Robbie Sandrock. Who's Robbie Sandrock? I heard that name before, did I? Where's formerly of this Paris, the man with the shoot, Robbie shoot, the man with the big glass from the blue line. Johnner tries to get him behind the defence, there needs to be careful in that 
taking a penalty along the, the stick in you know, a horizontal position and referees keep the whistles in their pocket Obi Sandrock absolute legend in Belfast and fantastic player fantastic person as well and uh, sorely missed and certainly knew where the net was after remember he scored that goal against Craig Kowalski from about 140 feet I remember calling it and I know I like a week old every once in a while indeed Robbie, of course, played a few times in Europe for us, Sam. Wapowski puts the brakes on, tries to get it up the wall there. Flair ready, finishes his check. Picked up by Rutherford. Rutherford goes cross ice. Nice pass to Curtis Leonard. Leonard in the circle, takes a shot, blocked in front by Devecca. A little bit of a afters there. Darcy Murphy tries to get through. Save! Darcy Murphy with the shot. Not too sure if it took a deflection in front or it was a follow and puck. But the Giants score first, 2.53 to go in the first period. Simon, we talk about it all the time. You put the puck on that, good things can happen. See what happens here now. Hard work down there. Two men going to the net. David Rutherford and Blair Riley. So maybe a little tip off a of D-man there. But uh, you know, the Giants is a goal for Darcy Murphy. And that incredibly Simon already. 32nd goal of the season. Yeah, I think it's just took him a fine start to beat Lynch Cook. We'll try and get that confirmation through the uh, officials. We'll wait for the call on that one. And then we'll bring that to you with confirmation. But if it is Darcy Murphy, as I say, give me 32nd goal of the season. And a chance. First on the board. Robbie Sandrock sent us a little bit of luck there, Simon. You know, the Giants go one up after a bit of sustained pressure there. Here's the announcement. Just a wee score we <laughs> Shout out to Robbie Stoner again. Thanks for the shout out, boys. Just as I'm typing, we scored. Text the game, they'll text the game. There you go, Darcy Murphy. Unassisted, Dimmy. I think we'll have to see a replay at the end of the period break there, Simon, just to check if that is unassisted, but certainly. You take the opportunity just from the Eddie Rockets dot there and he fires it in and then the Scouts are tied up and uh, pops past him for a 1-0 lead with it's just 2.43 left in the first period. Joel Neal will be bringing, whether it's Darcy Murphy or whether it's a uh, member of the coaching staff at the end of the first period, so stay with us and then we'll bring you the highlights after that of the first period. But the Giants score first. Dwyer. Gets it back to the blue line. Roach now takes a shot, tries to defend inside. He's got a little bit of space. Top of the circle shot coming in. Another block in front once again. Sacrificing their bodies from the Katowice side again. They've been impressive here with the showing a bit of uh, sacrifice, David. Yeah, we know it was what, that it was going to be a physical game, a fast, high paced skill game as well, Simon. Real good one to watch. Sand around the wall. Kept inside as a man went to the front of the net. And your girl stripped the puck. Lovely play. There's a chance for a two-on-one. Chris Higgins. Kai Bond going to the back door. Just off the back of the skate there for the defenseman took it in. And a glorious chance for the Giants. We've had a couple of two-on-one looks, Simon, where we just haven't really been connected with the second man or, you know, the D-man's been able to. Pat Dwyer and Linscog having a bit of a rip. Pat Dwyer's outside is crease. So he can't do anything about it. Here comes Ronka. Patrick Ronka for it. Katowice, a lovely, skillful player. Just rolls off the end of a stick, though, and he gets a bit of help from a teammate, Frasco. Sends it around, there's a chance here. Malasinski looking to feed it inside, breaks to the point for Kravchuk. Sends it down low once again to Frasco, round behind. Malasinski again, can't control. Lovely stick in the lane that time for Mark Larsai, Divi. This has certainly been the deal. So it's for the game, sorry, Divi. Chance right for at the back door, looking for a reflection off the corner. My goodness me, end to end stuff. Larsai tried to get that out of the back of the net, but. Ended up turning the puck over at Garcia inside, but it's going to be called offside. Jonathan Ferdinand looking around for a bit of help there. He's been shoved into the zone, and unfortunately for the Belfast Giants, on Russian D-man Mark Garcia, he's not able to check back enough to keep the play onside. Physical, this line of Ronka and uh, Frasco causing all sorts of problems for the Belfast Giants and behind their own net. Let's have another shout out, Simon. All these ex-Belfast Giants players phoning in or texting in, phoning in. But a uh, big shout out to uh, Adam Robinson, also a formerly of this parish. I know Big Matt Nickerson's watching back in Finland again tonight. Also, I hope to see him back very soon for Stephen Murphy's testimonial. Always watches online. I don't know the parents of, of the players that we have here. A lot of them do watch online. There's a chance here. Jumping in behind David Rutherford. He's took from behind. No call on that play. I can't believe that one. 
Darcy Murphy gets it out front and it's a three on three opportunity now lovely pass cross ice Wapowski round the outside puts the brakes on sends it round behind the net it's going to be kept in by Rota Rota 42 seconds to go in the period Rota behind the net of Tyler Beskarwani spins back again into the corner really really smart play round the outside on a giveaway Darcy Murphy Darcy Murphy now breaks forward lovely move around the outside backhand effort and a good save again to Vega tries to end it. what a save by Lynchcock Rutherford with a glorious opportunity to put the chance two up and the big right pad come out just from Lynchcock's leg Belfast Giants head for a change but ending this first period on a high side with a lot of pressure Lynchcock having to come up big to keep them in the game to Vega through the middle there's going to be a couple of seconds left maybe a chance for a shot there it comes, good glove save, what a period of hockey at the SNC Arena. We're going to chat with Joel Nays very shortly. He's going to hopefully grab Adam Keith on the bench in just a second. And then we're going to be chatting with EIHL media director Luke Fisher. Joel Knight in position. And let's go down to Joel Neal on the bench with the head coach Adam Keefe. Thanks, Simon. Joined by Belfast Giants head coach Adam Keefe after a wild first period. Coach Giants offense much improved in the bottom half of the period there, rewarded with a Darcy Murphy goal. What are your thoughts on the first period? Oh, the pace is certainly higher than last night, and we expected that, but uh, obviously. To, to talk about it and to experience it, it's a little different so hopefully the guys understand the pace is higher and you got to make your decisions a little quicker and you got to move your feet and you got to shoot pucks fast obviously a difference in styles here tonight the belfast giants employing much more of a north american cross-checking game obviously staying out of the box is critical but are you able to use that forecheck to frustrate katowice well i mean we've forechecked the same way all year so i just want us to keep get on top of guys and taking their options away and letting them make mistakes great work coach thank you Thanks, Joel. Welcome back to the SSE Arena for the start of the second period. The first period, just end the end the whole time. David Katowice versus the Stanley Belfast Giants. Glorious opportunities. It has been a brilliant period. What's the shots on goal? 13 shots to Belfast Giants, seven shots to Katowice, which probably just doesn't tell the whole. Yes, the Giants have been a little, little bit more progressive down this end of the ice for sure. Lindus Cogs had to come up with a couple of great saves, but you know, the one standout moment apart from the goal in the first period, that save from Tyler Besco Rowana. Let's have a chance to look at that save now from Besco. Lovely move around there again. Malasensky feeds it back into the corner. Heads up play from Frasco. Frasco across the slot and Deveca takes too much time but what a glove save he just drops the stick and goes off to the puck you know he maybe one day he'll, he'll look back on that Simon and think one timer one timer but you know he probably thought this isn't one I can miss he's just dwelt on it great save it's also you know he's a defenseman so I mean a forward wouldn't have hesitated about that and hit the, hit the you know took the one time effort but you know <laughs> defenseman their job's not to score do you know what I mean um, I certainly I think I've made across his mind well you know you've got a whole lot of net to shoot out there but he's, he's picked the glove out if anything it's been a, a really exciting first period uh, the game for all the games this week so far have been and have had goals and, and obviously taking aside the game of this afternoon against uh, Gomel and, 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 uh, and Ardan with a, you know, a 8-2 result it was, in, it was over after 7 minutes it's been a really great game a weekend of hockey so far look this has been fast this has been skillful it's been physical it's just about had everything in this first period it's had a goal it's had a couple of unbelievable saves Simon so let's hope we'll get more in the next period Shout out to Shannon Hamill and Shuggy watching the game at home this, uh, tonight, sorry. And also Paul Robinson. He's Hi, Paul. Uh, yeah. Got a bit of chirping in here again this evening. Is your mum and dad watching home tonight, David? Dad's watching the iPad, yes, all right. Dad, good to see you. Glad to be home, mate. <laughs> We're going to go back to the ice here now. Action upcoming imminently. Both teams back on the ice again. And uh, David, Adam Keefe, we had a chat with uh, Joel Naylor at the end of the first period. And he just basically saying, plan's not changing, let's keep things going the way they are. Yeah, and look, from bo both coaches will, you know, be okay, Katowice are one nothing down, but their coach will be happy enough with how they've played in the first period. They have stuck to a pretty good system, getting their skilled players in, getting Ronk in, getting Frasco in, you know, Rota coming up with opportunities. They're doing well down low, they're creating opportunities. 
the seven, I would say the seven chances, the seven shots that we've had have been pretty good chances. Tyler Beskarwani has had to be sharp here to keep the Belfast chance in this game. Officials just having a quick conversation down below us here. And we're up and running again and ready to go. John starting the second period, but Higgins, Dwyer, Antoine. That's here from you folks, wherever, wherever you're watching the game from, you can get us at Belfast Giants TV or at Davy underscore MCG. You can also get myself at Kitchy16 and uh, give us your thoughts on, on the, the game and how it's going along. A collision there at the blue line, good back check by Patrick Dwyer, Wapowski and Josh Roche trying to outwork a shot coming in and there's a quick goal at the start of the second period. A turn over along the wall, 19 seconds in and for some reason is continuing to go down. Josh Roach just kind of out, out muscled um, along the half wall here, and you know they they, they work here. You go, Simon, just saying it out muscled. Pat Dwyer comes in, dials a stick, and Rota with the one timer touch through the wickets. Great start in the Ties second it up period. After just you know a handful of seconds in the second period, they're saying 14 seconds gone there, and uh, Rota gets his second goal of the weekend. Wapowski will get the assist, and Katowice ties things up. Not the start the Belfast Giants were looking for, but definitely the start Katowice will be looking for. And they win the face-off and they break again in the Belfast Giants defensive zone. Rolled out again, under pressure this time from McFall. McFall trying to keep Frasco sorry, around behind. There's a chance out front again. And just cleared by Kevin Ray and Tyler Beskarwani trying to react to that when the puck breaks forward again and Frasco back to cover up Blair Riley ends up putting Frasco on his seat of his pants cross ice and Frasco now picks the, the puck up at the halfway line takes a big hit from Kevin Ray moving forward Ronka Ronka's got a man jumping out the back door here the chance need to be careful and Kendall McFall takes the pressure away tries to separate it back up ice again and Belfast Giants regain control. Rian to the right side for Johnner. Johnner just pokes that past. Darcy Murphy looking to join the play. Ryan behind with Ronka tying him up. Great back check again by Katowice number 95. This breaks forward once again and second she gets the red line, dumps that in. Fesco comes out to settle things down for the Giants. Far side, up the wall to Hook. Lewis Hook just been selected for the GB International squad. Colin Shales leaves that for Justin Johnner with a shot over the top of the net. Johnner, 17 goals are out of this season. And he'll shoot from anywhere at the minute. A bouncing puck and Tyler Beskarwani needed to be careful there. It breaks back towards the net. Beskarwani and Colin Shields collide. And Davey, Televisa have started this period like a house on fire. Yeah, they've got the Belfast Jazz scramble a little bit here in possession. Having a wee look on the bench here at David Rutherford as well. He, he went in for a hard check down at the, the Zamboni doors there and he, he went off the ice quite gingerly. But uh, you know, the Belfast Giants here just need to settle the nerves down a little bit that they came out with in the second period. Of course, a goal always dents the confidence a little bit there, Simon. So we just need to stick to the process and get back into the game. Savici can't control that one. Chris Higgins. Behind the net again for Curtis Leonard. Chance that shell shocked after conceding that goal after 15 seconds. Patrick Dwyer into the zone. Around the defenseman gives chase and looks to leave that for Kyle Bonney. Tries to take his man out. Puck breaks forward once again. It's in behind from Krenchelek. Krenchelek didn't get to the red line though. And it's going to be an icing call. Brought the whole way back into the lead. Katowice and the fourth line on here for Katowice. Adam Keith likewise goes in line, matches against them rather than doing anything different there. But uh, you know, Reback trying to get in for uh, Katowice, unfortunately for them. As you say, just hadn't quite gained the centre red line. And uh... shot coming in, difficult save there for Lins Cog, but through traffic it's always difficult. The goaltender sees it from 60 feet, he will save it. It takes a, just a little nick off the stick of the forward, Hunter Bishop trying to get hold of it. Jonathan Fernand skates round, looks to try and make a move out front and 
lifted up there. It would have been a very skillful move from Jonathan Fernand. Wapowski to the blue line. Shot blocked again. Kevin Rain helps it into the corner. He's thinking about giving chase there. Round behind again and picked up by Jesse Rota. Rota. He settles things down for Katowice. Joel, you've had a, a really good view of the close action here. Let's hit your thoughts on the start of the second period. Yeah, just first of all, I'm relieved there to see David Rutherford back out on the ice. Simon, he went in, as you said, into the corner in the east here for a, a big body check. He got up and the pain on his face was visible, so it's good to see him back out on his next shift. Overall, the Giants just need to step up that four check again in order to get back into this game. The first game and the, and the well-deserved goal was as a result of that constant pressure. They just need to pick that pace up again. Thanks, Joel. Referee went for a little trip there. And here comes Blair Riley. Riley, drag, or toe drag there, gets a shot away. Good blocker save, and there's a chance out front. David Rutherford couldn't get that one on target. Blair Riley with a second opportunity, tries to put one down low past the goal. Tenebra goes wide of the target, David. Yeah, the Belfast Giants looking at the referees there. Blair Riley letting the referee know what he thinks in the way off. David Rutherford as well. Looked like too far, straight forward, you know, penalties there, but neither called for the Giants. Goes the length of the ice again. Ronka's line back out for Katowice. Garside off the wall, back towards the blue lines. Kept in. There's a chance here for Katowice. Back door shot coming in. What a save by Beskarawani. Ronka missed the rebound effort, but a brilliant save by the goal center. Giants riding their luck at times there. We have to have the ability to clear our own defensive zone when we've got time and opportunities like that. We we'll cough it up again at the blue line. They come in pretty strong, get a shot away. Katowice at our a poor first period yesterday. It wasn't a poor first period today, but they certainly started today's second the way they did yesterday, Davey, and they've been impressive here first four minutes, 30 seconds. Good team, Simon. Good team. You know, they've got skill, they've got speed, they've got physicality, they've got a little bit of everything, and they've got very, very good goaltending. Shazovsky now tries to feed down inside. Shot through traffic, and Starzinski couldn't get that one on target. Kyle Bond. Starts up ice, gets to the red line. And to the Katowice Blue. Kyle Bond just couldn't get ahead that time to Patrick Dwyer, who was driving through the middle. Puck comes across again, this time for Roach. Roach. Josh Roach, 12 points in the last five games. Patrick Dwyer sidesteps once, taken down. There's going to be a penalty on the play here. Beskarani's on his way to the net. Kyle Bond's in behind the defence, though. Gets inside, takes a shot. There's a rebound effort, and it's covered up by Linz Kuhn once again. Hopefully we've got a second chance to have a look at this here. This all came from the, the sort of chaos caused by Patrick Dwyer drawing the penalty. And uh, the Belfast chance breaking in with Kyle Vaughan. He goes right in and Lindis Cog before he tries to make a move on him. And unfortunately for the Belfast Giants, Lindis Cog stands up tall there and makes the big save. Big save by the goaltender. Kyle Vaughan landed on top of it. The goaltender's back, but the chance again back on the PP, Davey. They're already not for two so far. 14.42 to go in this second period. And they're back on the par play again here now. Face-off breaks back to the blue line. Good control play there by Vandermeer. Great back check by Baposki. It breaks to Blair Riley who back the cover for the defenseman. Perfect. Gets it down though. Gets it back again. Colin Shades breaks into the middle, but good poke check in there. Breaks her cuts. Stubby Rolf for Rolf. Tries to make the extra move. Doesn't get a shot on target. Vandermeer now on the blue line. Down low to on the hash wall to Colin Shields. Vandermeer walks the blue line. Gets the shooting blind. Shooting lane. Tries to get that through, but looking for a slap pass more than a slap shot. Vandermeer again. To Rollerford. David Rollerford. Plenty of space on the half wall. Goes down low. Colin Shields steps in towards the net. Back to Vandermeer. Jimbo lines up, gives it to Murphy. Murphy looking for a tip in front. Comes off the skid of Wapowski and breaks into the corner. Darcy Murphy to Vandermeer. Winds up, looking for a tip in front and another good save by the goaltender. And that's cleared back down towards Beskarani's net. Boys going for a line change there. Colin Shields maybe on a bit of unfamiliar territory for him. Taking that space in front of the goaltender in these uh, power plays when he's not playing on the point there. Patrick Dwyer round behind again and lays it out to Dustin Johnner. Johnner feeds that through Lynette and a collision here. Chris Higgins is going to 
get a penalty here for goaltender interference, I believe. He is indeed. And I think that's an easy enough call. And you've got the goaltender coming 12, 15 feet out of his net. And, and the referee didn't make a hesitation to call on that one at all. Under the new double IHF rules, Simon, that it, you know brought out this year, the 2019 to 2022, no contact in the goaltender is, is a legal play. So, you know, from that point of view, from, there's also got to be the, the element of incidental. Higgins going through the slot there, as you say, the goaltender almost out at the hash mark. Bit unfortunate, but rules are rules. So, a little bit of four-on-four -four action here again. 36 seconds until Urbanovic comes out of the penalty box. And plenty of skill again out there for both units. Ronka is out with Frasco. Kyle Bond up front. Shot coming in. Good. Save down low again by Besco. Bond gives chase. Good. Coverage by Tomasik. Tomasik. Back out there, comes up and skates, he's in behind now. Good four check again by Kyle Bond. Bond, he's a man in front, tries to find his through, but again blocking that lane. And a body check against the wall from Vanatsky. That's got to be a penalty. Vanatsky pushing Kyle Bond's head against the wall. Kyle Bond and Frasco having a conversation. But Vanatsky, he's got to see those numbers. He, he's got to hold up there, Davey. The both officials having a conversation. This could be more than two. Just the two, Simon. I think he's called either Borden or Ruffin there. I'm just not a couple Two plus see. ten. Did he's got the two plus ten. Yeah, yeah, they're going to get an extra player to come in. Let's get a chance to look at the replay if we can. Not a hit down low. So a physicality ramping up here. There's a chance here. Kyle Bond comes in. Vanaski's behind him. He turns his face toward. That's a bad hit. Vanaski's got to hold up. He can push him into the wall and hold him. But he can't make the hit and just, you know, yeah. that's it. In, in defense of him as well there, Simon. Bonner spinning at high speed, you know, he, he's committed to the hit. He has to take his medicine there, as you say, 2 plus 10. But the Belfast chance will get a, you know, another opportunity. Not for a short and far play, we'll have a, an extended period of 4, four on, on 3 four. now. 4 on 3 for 16 seconds. Yeah. Then the 4 on 4. And then the Giants on a short par play again. Special teams will have a massive game to play in this part or a massive part to play in this game I should say see Joel having a bit of a laugh down there at us to the blue nine night Dave I'm off again you're not really <laughs> I think I'm back on again there I lost the microphone there for a second just the cable trying to reach out there sort of can't hear myself in there Trying to get two involved in the game here, Simon, so we are. <laughs> I want to get on the ice, David. I just want to get on the ice. There we go. Gaffer tape to the rescue once again. <laughs> oh, dear, dear, dear. So, one second. Arvanovic is on his feet in the penalty box. And he's going to be coming out there very shortly. Jacks with a face off win, Roach side steps one, looks to get inside, takes a shot, can't get it past the goaltender. Urbanovic who steps out of the penalty box, escapes off ice, across the blue line, takes a shot, good save by Beskarawani. Four on four action for the next one minute and 12 seconds. In the end, here comes Patrick Dwyer into the Katowice zone, sends it down low, looks to cut inside, but he's up against three, four players there, and it's covered up by Linscock. Outstanding sound for the people in attendance here, people watching at home, everything you want. Urbanovic going one way, digging the defender. Beskarani coming up with save. Puck transitions up the other end. Patrick Guard doing likewise, getting in, getting shots away. And then the Skog on this occasion covers up. Give the face off to the uh, in the in the defensive zone here. So four on four here tonight. Bronca with the face off win. It's all important to get control. Sends that through the middle. Here comes Frasco now ahead to Sakashik. Sakashik inside for Ronka. Ronka takes a shot blocked in front though. And a good defensive play there from the coverage of Curtis Leonard. Ronka in behind. Sends it out front. Well intercepted that time, and a chance for the chance to break forward a three on two. Roach driving for the front of the net. He takes a shot, doesn't get the whole way through there, and the chance to be careful of the coverage. As Ronka decides to head back towards his own net there again. We'll go down and have a chat with Joel Neal at the next 
stoppage in play. See how his viewpoint is from ice level. Little drop pass coming across the top of the blue line. Frasco with a shot. Joel, what's your view on the uh, the penalty that have uh, penalties? Sorry, that have uh, picked up the the physicality in the last couple of minutes. Yeah, you're not wrong, Simon, and it's something I asked Adam Keith in the first period break, just the difference in styles tonight, can the Belfast Giants use that hitting game and that forechecking game to frustrate Katowice, and it seems to be that that is the case, you know, a lot of penalties coming now, it's very noticeably mouthy and a little more chirpy between whistles, and it'd be interesting to see if the Giants can continue to use that forechecking game and those hits to frustrate their Polish opposition tonight. Thanks, Joel. Face off to the right of Best Karawani, 15 seconds remain on the Chris Higgins inter goal interference penalty. Tugeman has to head back towards his own goal here. Lewis Hook getting a lot more minutes out there, Davy, and he's he's done. I thought he did a fantastic job last night for Adam Keith and his teammates. And here comes Rolta. Rolta to the left side of Malasinski. Malasinski tries to step around the defenseman, which is Kendall McFall. He took him down. We're back to five on four for a short period here. And picked up by Chris Higgins of Elfast Dasuk over the blue line. Tries to feed it in sword to the back door, but Justin Johnner, Johnner, trying to tie his man up, and we're now back to five on five. Johnner, he takes a hit in the corner. Lewis Hook can't get it in the first opportunity. Colin Shields comes in again to try and join the party. Johnner and Rota collided. That's going to go length of the ice here. And there's a foot race. Kevin Rain, he's certainly not known for lack of speed. He gets there, but it's waved off in the icing call. Good bit of skating there by Kreshlek, Kreshlek, taken to the ice by Kevin Rain. Puck comes out front, and again, good interception, that time from Jonathan Ferland. Just not sure, Simon, why that wasn't called off for icing, but, uh, you know, the Belfast Giants battle it out of the zone. And they've got a 200 feet down the other end, looking for opportunities of their own. Tomasek, just the nudge there by Jonathan Ferland, much bigger player. Garside keeps it at the blue line, he tries to get it down low again. The puck breaks for Bishop, he tries to feed it inside to Colin Shields, who was driving that. But he couldn't pick that one up. And Mark Garside has to retreat back into his own end. Garside starts up ice. Through center ice. Over the blue line. He's got a bit of speed in his favor. Takes a shot from Jonathan Ferland. It's kept in along the wall here by Bishop. Ferland away towards the front of the net. Takes a shot. And that's hit a player up high there. That was Tomasek. Tomasek gets collection of the puck. And he's going to go for a change once he dumps this one in, Davey. Yeah, again, Mark Garside doing a lot of hard work skidding from one end. Oh, kind of an offside call here. But skidding from one end of the ice to another little drop pass. Belfast Giants just not coming up with a clean shot on this crowd. Nine thirty-five to go in the second. One one tie. This has been the best game of the tournament so far, in my opinion, and still half of it left. Leonard. Curtis Leonard down low. Curtis, Chris Higgins takes two men into the corner with him, but puck breaks around the back again for Leonard. You can hear Kyle Bond shouting from up here. Bond, he's tied up in the corner now. Helped out by Curtis Leonard. He pokes it away from him. Starzinski picks it up and starts round behind the net. Long stretch pass up the wall. Shazowski gets past the defenseman, gets the shot away. Good gloves here by Best Girl Wani. Pat Dwyer, bit of, you know, forward against the forward. Or Pat Dwyer, bit of, beating a little bit easily down the boards here. The long stretch pass is taken well by the, the offensive player for uh, Katowice. Manages to get a shot away, but Tyler Best Girl Wani gloves that one down, just lets everyone settle down again. Face off win by the Polish outfit. Shot coming in there off the back wall. Rain helps it up to the half wall. Sent cross ice by Riley. Skarzynski comes in to try and hit his man. Chance for David Rollerford. He steps in, goes through the blue paint. Riley can't get the shot away. There's a chance here now. Blue shot coming in just wide of the post. Rebound that far. Darcy Murphy, a second goal of the game. Shot coming in from the point. Kendall McFall misses the target. Darcy Murphy first to react, and he slaps it upstairs past the goaltender. 
Simon, we talked about the active fours at this end of the ice last night. McFall with the big shot, just watch the rebound here. Six feet out, Darcy Murphy has a call. Chris Higgins last night, Johnny on the spot. Just a lift it up over Linda's couch pad. They get the go-ahead goal for the Belfast Giants. It's 33rd of the season, equals last, last season's total, Simon, in the second week of January. This should go to Kendall McFall and Blair Riley. Darcy Murphy, as I say, another goal this evening. The Giants take the lead for the second time. Johnner in the circle against Rolta. Good reaction, Davy, from the Giants after going that, you know, today the kind of beats a pull in the back to one each just after, you know, getting away that 17 seconds into the second period. He's saying that David Rollerford got the assist, but pretty sure he did a little chat for Dustin Johnner at the back door, slides through the blue paint again, and Lynch Cobb covers that one up. The assist be given to Rollerford and McFall, but it was definitely Blair Riley that got the pass to the point for McFall to take the shot. All sorts of havoc down here around Linda's Cags net. Belfast Giants, a little bit more belief coming with the goal, Simon. Good kick off the line there, you know, to go in and create opportunities. Next break and play, we'll go back down to Joel there again. He had a great view off that goal again. We'll go down and have a, a conversation with him. He's standing right behind the net there in that area. Change up of players there. Yeah. Popowski. The linesman a bit confused about the rhythm there, but the player has to come in. You give him a warning and then he gets a delay game penalty, Sammy. You don't get to change them up anymore. So it's the NHL rules for this Continental Cup. Double IHF. Double HF, sorry, my apologies. You're right. Champions League indeed as well. Rolta lofts over the top of Mark Garside. Garside just having a look over his shoulder there. Steps into the corner while Polsky trying to use the big body to protect the puck gets it back to the blue line. Yurkio, shot coming in just wide to the post from Wapowski. All kept in at the blue line for Yes, he wrote down. Here comes Jonathan Boxwell. Boxwell breaking down the left side. Feeds it inside for Vandermeer, who was jumping up into the play. The pass into his skates and couldn't get that one away. The crowd calling for a penalty. I think that's a, a reasonably good play by the defenseman. Josh Roach now. Seven and a half to go in the second period. Long stretch pass to Higgins. Higgins touches it in and Ends up the defenseman end up falling to his backside. Higgins round behind, gets it out front from Paddy Dwyer, but another cover up again, and things getting a little bit physical down there. But you've got to go to the blue paint if you want to get rewarded, Davy. Chris Higgins wins the foot race, gets body position here, does a little dipsy doodle, a little Paul Robson likes to call it, out the back, and that puts in front. Bonner and Dwyer all digging for it. Nobody comes up with it, only Linda's crowd. Face off to the right of Linz Krog now. Dwyer against Ronka. Chris Higgins getting the warning for Dwyer there. You're supposed to go down to Joel there, David. Thanks for reminding me. Go down to Joel, mate. I'll go down to Joel the next time. My apologies. Kind of beats him out, trying to break out on the left wing. And Good work down low by Curtis Leonard. Chance here now, jumping up into the play. Frash goes over the blue line. Frash goes into his own, takes a shot. Good save by Bess Garwani. Joel, what you got for us? Yes, I mean, the goal could not have come at a better time there. The Giants in general, a little more loosey-goosey, as Derek Wolfson used to say in this period. A um, bit of end-to-end -end action. But you're right in saying that it was Blair Riley through to Kendall McFall, who ripped an absolutely thunderous one-timer. The flex on the stick from where I was standing, unbelievable. And that gave it the momentum to bobble back out into the air. Darcy Murphy right on the spot, instinctively gets a blade on it and knocks it down into the goal. Perfectly timed goal, 2-1. This off one again, back to the point, winds up to Becca, big shot there and an equally good save by Fesker Awani, the puck's broke up there again and a Rutherford looking for an interference call and I think he's went down a little bit too easy there for my liking. Sakashik just trying to tie his man up and the break goes away off David Rutherford on this occasion to the blue line, just 
Taken out. And here comes Darcy Murphy. He's on two goals already. He feeds it inside to Rollerford. Rollerford told Jack sends it through. Kept it low. And another good save by Linscook. Rudy just can't quite get enough on that. He's created that all on his own. Down the other end, gives it, gives it to Murphy. Skates hard into the, mur into the middle. Murphy gives it back to him. Looking for that low glove side over the top of the pass. But then this guy has the, has the big mid in the way. Face-offs during this game, Davey, and defensive zone face-offs are pretty important. Chicken in and Colin Shields now in the corner and starts against. He loses the twig, but Tuck comes out in the top of the circles there and punched back into the corner by McFall. But behind the net, Starzinski sends it round and well positioned by Tuchin in. Goes cross eyes or Banowitz loses control. Rain to Johnner, onwards to Colin Shields. That's just on side, John with a shot, good save, we're looking for a rebound there, was Lewis Hook, the goaltender, not giving any change out on that occasion. Starting to get creative ideas from every line here at the minute, Simon Linda's Cog, much the busier the good two goaltenders, we got a wee chance to have a look in the next break at the shots on goal. Jonathan Fernand. And yes, he wrote that for a one morning given out here. And the Kleinsmen are certainly very active in this game. Good face off win by Fernan. Mark Carside just rolls off the end of his stick and he can't get the shot away as he fans in that one. Can't get that down low in the first attempt. Does in the second. Fernan picks it up and starts back towards the blue line. Vandermeer kicks it out to his stick. Back to Carside. Carside looking for a cross. Priest pass there, kept back around the wall. Garcia had to pinch in this time up against Lacken. And Lacken has been pretty quiet in this period. I don't want to really say that, but it's a bit late for sending that message out after it's already said. <laughs> He's a good player. Two assists last night for Katowice. And he picks the puck up on his own zone here. Sends it back down towards his defense. I'm sorry, Sentiment Rolka. Rolka to Kravchik. Kravchik has his defensive partner. Jakub Vanatsky sitting in the penalty box here for another few minutes and he'll be back out after picking up a 2 plus 10 penalty in again here comes Lockin and Yanni Lockin and gives the puck away too easily there the Giants end Josh Roach has a time to stretch those legs Bond has the space taken away from him that time by Sakashik Roach he's hit hard into the wall Leonard to Higgins, touches it into the Katowice zone in the last five minutes of the second period. Higgins round behind for Patrick Dwyer. Dwyer tries to sidestep the defenseman, steps out, Kyle Ball makes one move, gets it back to the back door. Roach winds up, looking for another pass going across the high slot. Kyle Ball again lifts that back into the corner for Patrick Dwyer. Dwyer is wire, he's tied up there. And no penalty in the play and stopping in. There's no trip in the call there. Shots inside again and a great save by the goaltender Linscook. The officials keeping the whistles in their pockets and both teams letting them play. Riley now, good pressure from the Giants. Riley just creates that little bit of space for himself. Sends it down low for Dwyer. Dwyer looking to get round behind. That's a good defensive play. It breaks right in front and the goaltender Linscook covers it up. The goal has to say that the Mikkel Ryback had lost his stick. He was skating around there for nearly 30 seconds without getting a hold of that. He's got to go to the, he's literally got to go to the front of the header, got to go to the high stock and keep an eye on the guy instead of skating all over the place, David. Yeah, Ryback losing his stick there and it's caused, created all sorts of problems for him down there. The Katowice fans again trying to get their team up for this. 2-1 down, four minutes to go in the second period. Long shift there for Patrick Dwyer. Riley wins that one, gets it back to the blue line, shot, lock going through from McFall, McFall as well, the retreat there and a nice move inside this time from Ronka, Ronka lays it off, gets inside and a chance coming in, Vesco doesn't know where it is and the referee helping him out there because he thought it had sneaked through the five hole, did he? Says every time Ronka gets himself on the puck, something gets created, he, he commits the man he comes skating through centre ice here, that low centre gravity, high speed. 
Shot from Tugan in there. Good save from Basco, but again, giving up the rebound, and the referee couldn't see it. He was on the opposite side, so approaching 3.47 to go in the second period. Yerkio down low, shot from a difficult angle that time from Frasco. Goes around the horn, and Kevin Rain and Frasco into the corner. Good play by the, the Polish player, just leaning on Kevin Rain. The chance to have a chance to break forward to Darcy Murphy. He puts the brakes on. Again, tries to send it inside. It's intercepted by Yerkio. And the Poles again move forward. Frasco dumps one through. A bouncing puck covered up by Tyler Beskarawani. Patrick Ronka Davies, Polish national player, he's so smooth and skilled. And he played one year in Austria. He's only 23 years of age, but he certainly is a top, top player and leads Katowice in points this year. Yeah, Simon, I think this is a, a, a kid at the end of the day, only 23 years old. He'll go places, you know, I think he'll, he'll move up through the leagues in Europe and uh, very, very high skilled player. Chance again, down in their own zone, battling here along the wall with Shizovsky. There's a penalty coming up here. The goaltender makes his way to the penalty box. I didn't see the call. It goes out to the top of the circle, comes in front, and a good block. That time by Lewis Hook, but there's pressure now with the extra skater on for Katowice. A whistle and a penalty upcoming for slashing. Just not sure who's taking it there, Simon, is, uh, for the Belfast chance, but. You know, the Katowice team working back to a shooting opportunity. Lewis Hook standing up tall, taking it on the shin pads or maybe on the skates. Doing what it takes to keep his team ahead in the game. Not too sure he's supposed to be getting this penalty, but... It's like Jim Father, mere skip. Yeah, Jimbo seven. coming across to take out for two minutes. Slashing pull. Doesn't look too happy with the call itself. So, hard play chance here for Katowice. Late in the second period. Good face off win there by Roddy and back towards the goaltender. Beskarani covers that one up. Katowice fans are absolutely brilliant, aren't it? Yes, yeah, indeed, Simon brings an extra dimension to the game when you've got a big crowd of away fans in, bringing their own atmosphere to events. Chance managed to clear back in the neutral zone, and Katowice have to tag up. Lepowski standing up at the far blue line. That comes off the back of the net, and Blair Riley first to react. Riley back to the blue line, just kept in. Sends that around the horn again from Curtis Leonard. Locking in behind the net. Yerkio lays it off for his defensive partner, Tukin in. And Rolta picks it up again. Four Finnish players on the ice for Katowice. Out to Tukin and Tukin in. Tries to feed it through. Good defensive play there by Curtis Leonard. He was tied up. Giants has lost his stick and eventually picked up. And starts up ice is Jonathan Ferdin, who's the whole way down to Linskoog. Linskoog lost a pass back up the neutral zone there, picked up by Patrick Dwyer. Dwyer tries a little toe drag, chance for Raposki to jump up into the play here, tries to get through two defence, but it breaks for Tyler Peskaran and Kevin Rain just hugging it out there with Raposki in front with 1.49 to go in the period. Raposki being really direct there in the Belfast Jazz, yeah, having the time up there, avoid him getting a hard shot away. He's looking for the pass there, and it gets tangled up with Kendall McCall and the three guys to come together, but Tyler Beskarani's able to stick with it there for us. Chris off to the right of Besko. 53 seconds remaining on the penalty to Jim Vandermeer. Vandermeer has played a lot of ice time tonight here, Dibby. Kevin Rain, though. In the corner, he stripped the puck on this occasion, tries to get around behind, good coverage and support given by Kendall McFall. McFall steps out and sends that 200 feet. Great play by the big defenseman from Saskatchewan. Strong, Urbanovic trying to get in there and work an opportunity for Katowice, but uh, 
Big Kendall, the big number 27, of course, to the Belfast Jazz, sticking with it. Able to create the opportunity to get it up the ice. Katowice again with two high men here. Both sides of the blue line, Urbanovic and Malasinski are those two players with 14 seconds remaining. And here comes Ronka. Ronka strides through the middle. There's about the outside, taken away from him. There's a chance for Blair Riley. Riley one on one. Down the right side, takes a shot. Good save by Lynchcock. He really rarely gets beat that five wall. No, it's, uh, you know, Blair Riley has to take a clutch or two just to settle the foot down. Darcy Murphy with a cheeky little poke check and then tries to release a captain. He can't take it first. Takes a couple of opportunities to settle it. Goes low for the five hole. Doesn't get there. Two seconds remaining on Van der Meer's penalty. And he's going to jump straight back onto the ice and take possession with Darcy. Riley now. In the face-off circle, loses that one. The first to jump ahead, there was Darcy Murphy cooking him. Wins the battle for the puck on that occasion. Starzinski feeds it up. Good play by Jim Vandermeer. Darcy Murphy. Darcy, top of the circle, takes a shot, but good save again with the right pad by Linz Cook. Cross ice pass to Frasco. Frasco into the zone. Little look over his shoulder. Run. Tries to make a move around Mark Garcia, gets it back to the point, a shot coming in, blocked in front, and Garcia Murphy picks it up in the second chance, dumps that ahead there, and it's going to be an icing call. Darcy, I think he thought there was a little bit more left in the clock, and the officials bringing out the whole way back, but he didn't miss the red line by much on that occasion. Adam Keefe arguing that point. I think Joel Neal is going to have a shot. If he can, I don't know if he can get down to have a chat with Tom Cullen in time. See if we can get him around there to have a chat with the, uh, the Katowice coach. And he's going to make his way around there right now. 21 seconds remaining on the clock. And we'll get the views of the head coach from Katowice at the end of this period. Giants now. Break up ice and tries to get around. There's a man coming right out front. 2-2, two, two, it's hard up again, locking in. He's been quiet all game, and he ties it up late in the period. They score early in the period, they get a goal late in the period. Dumping the puck and getting penalised for, for an icing call, David. Yeah, Simon, not too unsimilar to the, the Pat Dwyer goal from last week, you know, where he, he walks in from behind the red line. Mesco just not able to, to get it with the poke check there, and when the goalie's down on his belly there, he's able to just elevate it up into the roof of the net to make it two eights, as you say. Harsh punishment for a soft icing call. Lock it in. Again, his first goal of the weekend. Ice things up at 2-2. Two -two. And nine seconds to go. Adam Keith. Conversation he's having with his players is different now than what it was before that icing call was, was dumped down there, Dibby. Yeah, you know, we've conceded very early in the second period, conceded very late. Just little swings of momentum, swings in concentration there. Maybe looking for the locker room at that stage. Darcy Murphy. There's a chance here, Kyle Vaughan breaks down the right hand side. Vaughan tries to the front of the net, looks for it. Hip in front there. Nets off his moorings, the officials blow the whistle, the horn's gone. And we've got another battle here, Davey. 2-2 two -two at the end of the second period. Simon, a, a breathless period of hockey. It's actually been a very entertaining 40 minutes. You know, both teams going right at each other every opportunity, backwards and forwards. Davey, again, that, that icing call, given the icing call up late in the, the period itself, 26 seconds to go. And uh, unfortunately, it went against the Giants, and, and they come up with a big goal. Adam Keith very, very unhappy there. You see him closing the, the bench door. Don't know if he's having a little stir down with the officials, but very, very unhappy. You know, at the same time, Darcy Murphy takes one, two steps more. There's plenty of space in front of him. Simon takes it, gets the red line, dumps it in. It's a different situation, but we're, we are where we are, Simon. It's two goals each, 20 well, minutes, and all the play for it. Joel Neal now coming out onto the bench with the head coach, Tom Cullen. Let's go down the ice level with Joel. Thanks, Simon. Joined now by Katowice head coach Tom Cullen. Tom, welcome back to Belfast. You must be happy with the late equaliser there in the second period after a very, very end-to-end -end action. Yeah, I mean, it's uh, definitely end-to-end -end action. I, I'd like to see us get a little more control on our power play. Uh, it wasn't as effective as I would have liked, but uh, it was a big, obviously a big goal for us at the end of the period. But we got a big one at the start of the period. And a big one at the end. Maybe we should only play in the last minute and the, the first minute of the period. 
What is the key for Katowice to win this game in the third period? I think we have to win more battles for the puck. And we have, if we get an opportunity in the power play, we have to get some basic, uh, you know, uh, control out there, which we haven't had. And the other side, we got to win some more face-offs. We're not winning any face-offs. Face-offs and control are, are key, key elements out there for us. Thanks for your time, Coach. Thank Good luck. Thank you very much. Simon. Thanks, Joel. Gibby, again, 2-2 in the second period. It's been a brilliant game so far. Oh, yeah, for a neutral, I'm sure it's absolutely fantastic. For a, for a Belfast Giants fan, it's a bit of a, you know, one in the heart there, right at the end of the second period, to see them pass back after we managed to get ourselves into uh, what was a, a decent lead. You know, we've, we've done well, we've attacked really well. Shot count will be massively sweat in Belfast Giants' favour. Um, you have a wee chat there, Simon. I'll, I'll uh, have a wee well, quick look. We're going to go and take another short break. We're back at the SSE Arena for third period action. 2-2 two, two at the end of the second, action-packed whole game. It's been 40 brilliant minutes of uh, of action here at the SSC Arena. Let's go down to Joel Neal at the side of the ice uh, behind the Belfast Giants goal, the third. Joel, uh, what's your, your uh, reflections in the first 40 minutes? Absolutely end the end, Simon. I mean, heartbreaking at the end of the second period there to, to uh, make a big, big penalty kill for the Jim Vandermeer penalty and then concede so late on. The Giants in this period now, they need to win their individual battles. They need to stay out of the box, keep it even strength, and win the one-on-ones. If they can keep the action pinned high and keep pouring those pucks onto the Katowice net, then I think we'll have a result. Thanks, Joel. Give me just get a, a reflection from yourself. Look, Jack, Simon, it's, you know, it's been a fairly good period from the Belfast Giants, there, apart from the cough up a really early goal and a really late goal. 30 shots to Belfast Giants, 20 shots to Calavice. I don't think Adam Keefe will be too disappointed other than you've got to keep doing what you're doing. You can't have the lazy plays. You've got to finish your hits and you've got to get, if you're going to dump the puck in, you've got to get that red line and not put yourself under unnecessary pressure. Simon, just before we go here with the, the start of the third period, a bit of a shout out to Michael McVeigh there down in Castlewell and County Guy and asking to say hello to him on the webcast. So hiya Michael, hope you're enjoying the game. There's second from face off here. Head coach Tom Coolen just said settling his trips. Adam Keith on the opposite bench. Both teams aiming for a win here this evening in Belfast. The lead into the final day tomorrow. Chance start with Rutherford Riley and Darcy Murphy. Darcy with two goals so far in this game. And goals from Lockett, and he tied it up with the second goal. And Rota got the first for Katowice. See, finish connection. Let's get your thoughts. It also with the end of this period for Manuel Match. Trump is a tweet to at Belfast Giants TV. You think deserves the uh, accolades on that occasion. Twenty minutes ago, Simon, the guys are just waiting for the the ice to be absolutely ready to go on here. What do you expect on yourself? I got I said at the start of the game, I thought it was going to be a very tight encounter. I think that you know. I think I said earlier we were part of the short clip there for ABFTB in between games and I thought I said it could go to overtime. Uh, overtime's not um, the be all and end all for the, uh, the situation for either team. Um, actually, it is. It's a, it's a be all and end all. They have, Katowice have to win here tonight, have any chance of winning tomorrow. So, big, big period upcoming for both teams. Frank Donnelly. Excited to watch the game tonight, Brian, Derek, John, and Johnny watching from Lauren. Hope you're enjoying the game there, guys. He's all right, Michael McVeigh, Ross Manley, Thompson. Could you do a shout out to the Ashling watching the game in Glasgow with their laptop? Christopher Green, boys and field giving their all. Shout out to Richard McGuinness and his nephew Johnny watching in Belfast this evening. And uh, I've got to do one more shout out here, Simon. All right, go back ahead. to Adam Robinson again. He's just said that he's just realised he was watching last night's game on demand. Rather than tonight's game. So welcome along. It's two each, Adam. Is he serious? He's serious. <laughs> when he was born, there were handmade trains, or try brains. He thought he said trains and asked for a fast one. And I made a chance, made a chance here. Shot coming in! Carlos Lever! 15 seconds!
seconds on the clock, and the Giants are back in front. Simon, just like the first period when the Cata- or the second period when Catavici got off to a quick start, this time it's the Belfast Giants. John Smith has just tweeted in how do we keep calm. You can hear it all nice. One second goal of the season for Big Lenny stepping in between the circles and ripping one from the top of the hash marks for a 3-2 lead for the Belfast Giants. He's enjoyed that one. And he's right down into the corner there to celebrate with the fans and the Belfast Giants OFC sticker proudly sitting in the corner as well. Curtis Leonard gets his second goal of the season and the Giants are back in front early in this third period. Give a frigid reaction after going, conceding that goal with nine seconds to go in the second. Simon, I'm sure they are. It was a funny colour in the Belfast Giants locker room just as the boys came in off the ice. But you know exactly what we needed in terms of the tournament, in terms of the crowd in here tonight. We just needed to get going again and quickly and what a goal to start it off. They're ready with the assist. And again, the chance. And it jumped into an early lead in this third period. 15 seconds in. 15 seconds into the second period. The uh, uh, Katowice got their goal, Davey, to tie things up with 1-1. So the chance back in front here. A big hit in the corner delivered that time by Josh Roach. Ronke coming in with his head down there and ended up coming off worse. Puck breaks back to the blue line. Frasco, he's heading for a change. He dumps it back in behind the net to Dusan Deveka. Deveka. Ahead this time to Sarzinski. Sarzinski. Gives it back to the defenseman. Starts up ice, sends it through the middle, and that's a little bit too far ahead. And intercepted by Kendall McFall. In behind for Kyle Bond to chase. Devecca trying to tie his man up. Just happy to say there, Gibby, it was going to be a delayed penalty on the call um, for that, uh, before that goal ended up going in from Curtis Lemon. The chance we're going to go back on the power play. But um, that wasn't required. And the chance are now 3 2 up. A delayed face off. Delayed offside. Going to bring a puck outside again. Joel, let's go down to you and see if you can give us the news on the assist for that last goal as well, please. Yes, Simon, it just it took just 15 seconds for the Belfast Giants to strike back there. Curtis Leonard with a beautiful one-timer from the mid-slot. The assist coming from Blair Riley. That's a tempo changer. You can hear the arena now. It's, it's burst into life, and the Katowice fans suddenly aren't the loudest in the barn. Face off outside the zone. And a delay here. Best Garwani is waving out at the official behind the play. Face off outside the Belfast chance and one by Dustin Jonner. We need to be careful here. Down in the corner from Mark Garcia, but he does enough to get it out. There's a chance for a two on one break. Jonner in behind, sends it across. Great stick in the lane, a great defensive play. Colin Shields, a bouncing puck, gets it round behind the net though. It's taken away from him by Rolta. Rolta doing a good job. The cover back there in face of his defenseman, Dibby. Another glorious chance there for the Giants. Yeah, great defense there. Simon takes away the shooting or the passing lane, forces a forces a misconnection and allows Katowice to come away and settle themselves down, get the puck back into their possession. Fanatsky, he leaves that in behind there for Rolta. Rolta letting his teammates change up. And again, Katowice need to do the attack in here, the chance with that slender one goal lead, that's going the whole way through, it's going to come back for another icing call, Rolta was heading for a change there and uh, again Davy, it's been a great start to the second period. Sharp start by both teams Simon and uh, you know the Belfast Giants coming up with opportunities, Lindis Cog unfortunately for him couldn't deal with the, the Leonard shot and the Belfast Giants just squeaking out that little lead that they need Go ahead, goal from Curtis Leonard, his second of the season. He'd won disallowed a few weeks ago, didn't he? He did indeed. He had a goal disallowed in that net a couple weeks ago. Just off the buzzer, I think it was against Sheffield, actually. Anyway, play continues. Took it in. He's hit by Bishop, kept in the zone there, and Puck tried to get it down low again from Fernand. Three on three opportunity going forward once again. An offside call, a correct call that time by the officials, Rolta not happy with that one, but I think it was Wapowski just making that extra move on the red line, and you can just see the Katowice crowd really enjoying life in Belfast, the crowd, are, their team is down 3-2 at the minute, and they're doing their very best to lift their spirits on that bench, Dibby. That's, jo- that's our job, Simon, isn't it, as uh, 
as uh, fans when your team's down to support them and, and try and get be that extra man in the stands to you know get them back into the game. McFall has already got one assist here this evening. Darcy Murphy goes cross ice for Riley. Riley through the center zone and Lee. And then tries to feed that into the blue paint and Kevin Ream is jumping up into the play. He can't keep a hold of that one. McFall and Ronka battle for it. Good job by Kendall McFall. It's still in the zone though. Kept in by Rolta who's heading for a change. Round behind for Malasinski. He says it to Rolta. Rolta tied up in the corner by Blair Riley. Sends it down low. Opportunity coming in there for Urbanovic but he couldn't get a shot away. And David Rutherford has got his check finished there. There's an elbow and call I think is going to be upcoming here. I think that's the right decision again. It's a stupid penalty to take on that occasion for the defenseman. And Martin Sakashek is heading for a three minute call, but a good play again by David Rutherford not reacting yeah, to the initial call. He's got rock backwards there. Jason Taffeller, he's the first man with his hands in the, in the air, appealing for the penalty. It's the referee at the far end of the ice, calls it from 150 feet away. The referee closes to doesn't actually really get a good view of the, the incident, obviously, but you know, for the Belfast Giants, a chance early in this period, just after three and a half minutes gone, you know. Three and a half minutes or so gone, and the Belfast Giants on the power play with an opportunity. So, the Giants on the power play, 16-26 to go in the third. Dustin Johnner in the circle against Rolta. Yes, he, Rolta, he's already got a goal here this evening. He's played a lot of minutes for Katowice. Giants get it back to the blue line for In behind, Dwyer to the point. Roach, D to Z9, into the corner for Higgins, Higgins back to the point for Roach, he winds up, takes a shot, gives it out to Higgins, Higgins to Roach again, good movement here again by the box of Katowice, they're keeping it around, they're keeping the chance, let them keep in the perimeter, Dwyer looking for a tip in the high slot there, goes the whole way around the wall to Higgins now, Christopher Higgins into the phone cap circle, top of his blue line again for Roach, a tip in front and an equally good save again by the goaltender, Davey. Yeah, he doesn't see much of it there, Simon, he has to rely on his pads. Kyle Bourne tries to evade one check there, Roach picks it up, goes around for a bit of a skate at the top of the circles, feeds it out to Chris Higgins, Higgins, inside shot coming in, what a save from Linscog, fantastic effort, great reflexes, good job by Johnner, round behind, lays it off to Dwyer, Patrick Dwyer, he's got options. Sends it to the top of the blue line. Josh Roach's man in front. Back out to Dwyer once again. Back to Roach. Good movement by the chance. Back out to Higgins again. A bit of a slash in front. There are no call on the play. Patrick Dwyer can't get that one away. 40 seconds left on the penalty. Roach sends one through. Good block in front once again by the goaltender. Good pressure from the Belfast Giants here, Dave. But it's just as I say that, the puck breaks out for a change. What a battle in front there with Fanaski and, uh, um, and Bonner. But they come again. Josh Roach with the effort from outside the face-off dot on the left-hand side. It goes right round behind again for Roach. Giants need to be careful here as the defenseman has jumped up into the play. There's a back to the point. Darcy Murphy with a shot. Second effort, a backdoor play. What a save from the goaltender. It's under him. He doesn't know where the puck is. The referee blows the whistle. And a glorious chance for the Giants. Big scramble in front there, Simon. Linus Cog doesn't know where it is. Don't think very many people knew everybody's coming in. Sticks going in, digging away for it. Looking for that loose puck, but nobody can get anything on it. Darcy Murphy stepping in off the blue line, gets a shot away. Rutherford sticking at it. Paddy Dwyer comes and has a look. I don't think anybody knows where it is there in Furnace. The official obviously sitting in the right leg of Linus Cog. Blair Riley couldn't poke at home. Darcy Murphy. Coming in to help his teammates. Five seconds left on the clock. Mark Garside sends one through the blue paint that comes out the other side. And Murphy, first to react, we're back to five on five. Is Sakazek steps out of the penalty box. Darcy Murphy, tipsy doodling towards the front of the net. It can't get the whole way through. We're up an opportunity here for Katowicz. Ronka into the zone, being kept to the outside. Feeds it to the high slot. Good defensive play by Mark Garside, keeping his man to the outside. Chance moving forward again. 
Darcy Murphy now. Murphy with a shot. That's going up into the crowd. And a souvenir for somebody. Up in the row. Z, Davey. Great work from Mark Garside. Going back towards his own net there. Simon, I think he's been excellent tonight so far. Skating really well. Doing what he has to do in his own defensive zone as well. Best go going over to get, a, get the brow wipe there, Simon. And just take a little second or two just to calm himself down. But it goes up the other end of the ice. I think he had a little snow spray there. And... Uh, the action 150 feet away from him. Jazz need to be careful there and back check from Hunter Bishop. No call from either official on that one. The puck in behind for McFall. He sends it around the horn. He's kept it at the far side now by Shazovsky. Shazovsky being worked hard by Kevin Rain. Good work here again, he's moving his feet and Rian needs to be careful, he's taken down, no penalty on the play, Shazovsky not happy with that one, but I don't think Kevin Rian touched him in fairness now, he was trying to do a 1980s uh, breakdancing move there, Fernand to Hunter Bishop, Hunter Bishop through towards the net, and again, it's never a bad play if you're getting it into the blue paint. No, get it in there, make Linda Skog, make the save, Dustin John are right on the spot there looking for anything that gets spilled, but... Jim Belfast Jazz go for a, another quick line change here and uh, looking to set up camp here in the front of Cab Circle down at the right hand side of the arena. First warning given to Rolta. Rolta. And Patrick Dwyer, good face off win, back to the point for Roach, Roach can't get the shot away here and there's a foot race and unfortunately Yanni Lockinen just lost his footing there and a puck is head up into the bench at the Katowice and a player's taking that in the face, just right down in front of the IHF sign. Not too sure if anybody caught that in the camera but it's a... Uh, that's going to be a stinger. Deveca to the red line. Dumps it in. Josh Roach has got a little bit of time to have a look here. Sidesteps the hit coming in from Rolta. That goes the whole way through to Beskarwan. He helps it back into the corner. Josh Roach again under pressure. Double teamed again by... Katowice coming out to Waposki, lays it back to the point. What a save by Besko Iwani. Quick shot through traffic. And Besko with the big save. Joel, you got a better view than anybody down there. Let's have your thoughts on that one. Once again, Simon Tyler Besko Iwani, just total reflex, gets the glove in the air and plucks the puck out of thin air. Um, another thing to, that I've just been noticing, it's, it's a, a, an issue of perspective. You know, I'm at ice level, looking straight down the ice here. The Katowice penalty kill unit is just clogging that lane. It's frustrating for fans when the, a penalty, a power play unit isn't getting shots off, but there's just no room right now whenever we're on the power play. Thanks, Joel. Again, it's always good to get a different view from, from ice level. We're sitting up in the corporate boxes here doing the commentary. Good play by Colin Shields. He sends that down low. It's battled out of the air and kept up towards Kendall McFall. There's a food race. A good coverage by Kevin Rain. Rain sends it through the middle, but a turnover just outside the zone. Katowice, D to D. Yurkio sends it across and onwards into the corner. Kevin Chase by Kravchik. Kravchik up into the play. Good defensive play there. And again, picked up in the corner by Krenchelek. Krenchelek, fourth line out here for the... Polish outfit, McFall off the glass, helps it ahead, and David Rutherford needs to be careful. He's outnumbered there, but gets it down to Linz Cook. Vinatsky goes cross ice and a turnover at center ice again. Darcy Murphy first to react. He's being chased by Frasco, a little bit of a hook there, but not enough to warrant a penalty. Jim Vandermeer pinches in from the line, helps it back around the dasher boards. Good play by Murphy once again. And the puck picks favorably for Jonathan Ferland. Ferland. Doing a good job to protect the puck. And again, comes in and takes another hit that time for Vinatsky. Malasinski takes it away and helps it up the wall. Little touch back to Ronka. And Ronka dumps it in deep. Belfast have to head back towards their own goaltenders again. Good play by Riley. Riley helps it out. Tucked forward.
by Darcy Murphy. Murphy's already got two goals tonight. He shoots. And a good save by the goaltender. Whistle hasn't gone yet. It was a late whistle from the official. And Darcy Murphy did the right thing. He gets that shot on goal, drives straight to the net, make them take that whistle. Well, John Ferland actually, Simon Lindis Couch puts his glove on it, lifts it off again. John Ferland's every right to go out there and let him have a little poke at it. He may not too happy, of course. Slightly overprotected for the goaltenders at time, but if the goalie's going to make a play, you've got to expect a Belfast Giants player to have a go as well. You're not looking happy there, Simon. Well, we always do the 50 50 to support the club. And, uh,. We didn't get a winner, so of course I'm not happy. <laughs> Your house is closer, is it? What? Your house is closer. Absolutely, mate. Absolutely. Actually, we weren't too far away. We were about 760 out, I think it was. <laughs> Good, strong play by Patrick Dwyer. Dwyer's been solid again here this evening. Kai Vaughan comes in and finishes his check. A bounce in puck, and Josh Noach needs to be careful there. A collision right in front of the fence. Starzinski and Patrick Dwyer having a whack at each other. A whistle for an offside call. And the puck's going to come back outside. The zone man is, or sorry, Starzinski and Patrick Dwyer having a bit of a conversation there, skating through centre ice. Patrick Dwyer's been nice and chippy over the last few weeks. I like to see that in a, in a player's game when they come to Belfast. You know, if you, if you take a stick, give one back. The challenge that you have is, that the greatest respect, you wouldn't want to lose no. Patrick Dwyer to a two minute penalty when no. Starzinski's taking, it, taking him off the ice. So. 100%. But fair play to the referees, they've let that kind of, course, of thing go tonight. I think the officials this weekend have been excellent. And for you, Simon, that's something It to certainly say. is. <laughs> Big hit being delivered there on Hunter Bishop. And a dump in around the horn that time. Gets it out front. Jonner rolls off the end of his stick. Breaks for Shazovsky. Shazovsky almost to Sakashek. Back to Shazovsky over the line. Takes a shot through the legs of the defenseman, Curtis Leonard. Leonard with the go ahead goal. Urbanowitz now. He's hit hard into the wall by Ferland. Joining the party this time again is Shazovsky. Shazovsky behind the net. Spins away, went down, and that's a soft call. For me, it's a soft call against Curtis Leonard. And a tripping call, and Putin catafeats it back on the power play. We're just praising the referees just seconds ago there, Simon. You'll see here now. Vinsky. Nope, he's lost an edge, Simon. 100% bad call. But, you know, these things sometimes go for you, sometimes go against you. On this case, it's gone against us. Catafici on the power play with 10 15 to go in the period. I don't know if Birkin Thrupp shows that again. You were just looking away when the replay was on there, Simon. But 100%. I don't need to. I here knew about are, the penalty. Simon, here you are. It's never a penalty. That's the play's going to go on a wee bit longer after that. He spins back in there. Now, he's, he's lost an edge, and it's not a penalty for me. But I'm not the official, so we're two minute power play for Katowice and they've got their big guns out again Rolta with the face off win gets it back to Tukum and he winds up takes a shot great block in front by Kendall McFall Jantz get the hold of the puck there but Kevin Rain can't control and it's back up the wall to Rolta back down low again for Yilakinen Lakinen to Rolta back to the blue line for Tukunen Tukunen to Rolta Rolta steps into the circle Cuts his head up back to Tukin and again. Tukin feeds it across. Shot coming in. Just missed the net in the side. Shot there coming in from the angle, but another good save and cleared by Darcy Murphy. Simon, this could be the most critical 90 seconds of the game for the Belfast Giants. Facing their top line here and a critical penalty kill coming up. Lackinen falls over that blue line on the way into the zone. Lays it off for Tukin and now Tukin and cycles it down low for Ronka, who's got a change. Back to the blue line for the defenseman. Lacking in to Ronka to Tukinen. Tukinen now slides inside and takes a shot. And another block in front. Yurkio round behind for Malasinski and onwards to Lacking Lacking in to Malasinski. Back to the finish fine. Steps inside again. Down low. Lays it off for the captain Malasinski. Back to Tukinen. Malasinski steps off the wall. Crazy with a bit of space for himself. Shot coming in. What a save from Baskarani once again. 40 seconds to go. On the penalty. Good play down low by Josh Rose, just killing off those last few seconds. Dustin Johnner coming in to help him out. And again, Roach will be getting shouted out here by the official to play the puck, but that's a great bit of penalty killing by him. The puck ends up back on the blue limit, took it and shot coming in once again, blocked in front. Josh Roach sends it 200 feet, the chance of 20 seconds left in the power play. Great penalty killing, especially from Josh Roach down in the corner here. Simon gets all the hard work, managed to spin and shoot the puck full at the ice. Long stretch pass, Jonathan Fernand tries to back that one off and again sends that down. 
Curtis Leonard back on his feet. He's going to come back it under the ice in three, two, and one. And my chance are back to five on five. Chance for the inside. Takes a shot. Great save by Beskarani. It breaks again. Shot coming in from Ronka. And another block by a Belfast chance. Sakashik. Sakashik with a shot. Tapped in front just wide right of the post. Beskar needs to react. And back up on his feet once again. Big hit in the corner by Kevin Rain. The atmosphere in this building is really starting to lift here. And helping out in the corner this time is Shazovsky. Shazovsky. He's getting a little bit of a shove in there by McFall. The puck's still in the corner. This is where the battles are going to be lost on one, Davey. A real battle from three each players there. Shot coming in. Fesco covers it up. Oh, my goodness me. I need a break. So have a wee breath there, Simon. I try and talk about what's happened here. Belfast Giants trying to clear this up. Let's go down to Joel again, get his thoughts on the last couple of minutes of play. Simon, just at the start of that uh, Belfast Giants penalty kill there, Captain Blair Riley came onto the ice visibly upset with the referee down in this end. There was a bit of a conversation and there seemed to be a bit of a concession that it was indeed a blown tyre and a missed call. The Belfast Giants uh, absorbing some monumental pressure there. Kevin Rain with the block just after Tyler Beskarani made the shot there, or saved the shot there. A uh, huge seven and a half minutes coming up. Thanks again, Joel. Kept in the zone. Tries to bank one off the wall there. David Rutherford again sent to the ice and Mark Garside settles things down for the chance and coming on to play the body and it jumped up on as a forward here now is Kravchik. Kravchik using that big body to throw his way about. He's now playing right wing. Kravchik going to try and be the last man forward here for Katowice. That's going the whole way down. Besker Wani. Kravchik trying to Rush Beskarwani, just don't think that's going to happen. Don't then deep into the last seven minutes. Johnner leaves a stick dragon there, but can't get control of it. Good play at the blue line by Tukin, who sidesteps Colin Shields. Josh Roach under pressure from Wapowski. Roach ahead to Johnner, onwards to Colin Shields. Shields round behind for Josh Roach again. Smart play from the Saskatchewan born player. Shields can't control that one. Goes round behind once again, looking for the penalty there. It was rolled out. There's a whistle. It's from the linesman, and the puck is going to be brought outside. Not too sure what that's for, do we? Not 100% sure himself either, Simon. Just let it go, go on. Absolutely. Yeah. Simon, 6.23 to go. It's been a bit of a breathless period there for the last sort of five minutes. Very, very few whistles. Now fast chance having to work really, really hard in their own defensive zone. Ronka loses that face off. McFall night. Kendall McFall's had a great game here in Belfast this evening. Played a lot of minutes. Patrick Dwyer inside for Bond. Kyle Bond kept... Under pressure here to the outside by Sakashik. Sakashik again working the ex Toronto Marley. Calder Cup winner last year. He's stripped to the puck and the puck breaks for Kyle Bond there. He tries to spin and send it out front and can't get a hold of it. There's a cross ice pass and a foot race. McFall versus Ronka. Ronka beaten to the puck and good job by McFall once again. Ronka sends it up the wall. It's intercepted initially by Kyle Bond. Back down the low again for Ronka. Round behind the net. Ronka. We all know he's absolutely bucket loads of skill, but he loses the battle there to an man who's equally, or if not better, with regards to the hands. And here comes Patrick Dwyer. Dwyer takes a shot from distance, and he takes a hit off of that one as well. There's a late hit coming in from Shazovsky. Dwyer being targeted here by Katowice players late in the game. Garside sends it ahead. That's going to go to the length there, and a Players high stick and center ice. I'm not too sure if it was a camera picked that one up. Dustin Johnner, I believe. Dustin Johnner caught with a stick at center ice. And official has now called it after communicating with the linesman. So obviously it's going to be a two-minute call for high sticks. But again, it's not being caught on the camera here. Just right across our high line there as the puck was pumped in, did we? Simon, as, as long as they're getting the calls right, I'm not really all that fussed as how, how to get there. But you know, Dustin Johnner's obviously called down, holding his face, sticking his stick in the face. And the Belfast Giants with five minutes, six seconds to go in this third period, leading 3 2. 
going on the power play. Bit of a discussion down here. Full on conference between the four officials. Well, I've never seen her, an official take back a. Uh, I mean, he's got a, a cut lip, I believe. I'm not too sure when you zoom in on John and Dustin John are there. I've never seen an official reverse a two minute penalty. So. Claire Riley pleading the case here for a double minor. Dustin John are cut around the face. Referee coming over here to check. Get one of the cameras to follow that. He's coming back over to the bench. And let's see what the decision is here from the official two, two four minutes. Three. He's got yeah. two plus two. That's a big, big call with five minutes and six seconds remaining on the clock. The, uh, now Tom Cullen, the other official there, referee, is having a chat there with Tom Cullen, who's not happy with it. He looks like he wants to come out onto the ice here, shouting at the linesman. And again, we didn't catch in a camera. He's banged the door there. He needs to be careful not to take a, a misconduct penalty here. 5.06 to go. It would be a shame if the coach is thrown out of the game for behaviour. And as I say, this has been a real battle between these two teams tonight. Back to the point for Vandermeer. Vandermeer out there alongside Riley. Dwyer sends it through. Backdoor play from Higgins. Doesn't get enough on that one though from Darcy Murphy. Good forecheck from Blair Riley once again to the blue nine for Vandermeer. Jimbo in the corner for Chris Higgins. Higgins to Rutherford. Rutherford now. Rutherford in behind. And that gets right for Johnson with a shot. Great save by the goaltender on a second attempt and covered up with the rebound. Nice play all round. A really, really tight triangle there with a one man high for the. Uh, for the Calafici uh, penalty killer, Blair Riley working really, really hard to get in front and get a shot away. Chris Higgins steps it back to him there. Rutherford behind the net, I think it is, just passes it out in front. Blair Riley going hunting for the puck, but just can't get enough on it. You can watch the goaltender here pointing up towards the big screens and not happy with the officials. He just needs to stay in the game, Timmy. I don't think he was pointing at Boomerang Corner, though. No, I think he was pointing at Blair Riley with a bit of a follow through. Catches uh, the Calavici defenseman up high about the chest, but certainly not a high stick. Johns need to stay disciplined here for the remaining 438. Good face off win by Ronka. That's dumped out. And David Rollerford does a great job at the blue nine to keep that in. Riley now tries to get past Ronka. In behind for Chris Higgins, who picks it up behind the net. Higgins homers into the corner for Darcy Murphy. Murphy back to Higgins. Higgins goes for a skate around. Steps out front. Sends the back door. Oh, a glorious opportunity for Darcy Murphy. And a great save again as the goaltender went post to post. Some high skilled players there and almost releases the, the top end of the back door, but the D man just reaching in with a stick to take away the opportunity. Roche. Side steps one player. Malasinski. Little drop pass there for Patrick Dwyer. A give and go. With Roach, Dwyer to the blue line again. Roach winds up, feeds this shot away. Good save. And again, Lindeskog looking to play the puck just so it stops the, the face off being taken down in his end, David. Yeah. Really quick thinking, but his, his teammates aren't on the same level as him. Two really active goaltenders on the ice tonight. Every opportunity they've had in this game to keep playing the puck under the new route. Of course, the half two sign up, but on that case, he'd be more than welcome to to take the, the face off but as you say rather play the puck and let the, let the teammates get it up the ice Dustin John who had the incident happen against him for that high stick and call double minor on Vanatsky Vanatsky sits for 2 plus 2 that goes round behind and back to the top of the circle again for Curtis Leonard Leonard, Leonard sorry, already got one goal in this game Kyle Bond back to Leonard inside, little give and go there with Johnner. To the point, Roach. He's got Dwyer on this side. Dwyer winds up, gets a shot away. And another good save by the gold center. 3.22 to go in the period. 2.17 to go on the clock. Another good uh, period of pressure there from the Belfast Jazz. Not letting Calafici get out of the room zone. Coming up with a few opportunities. But Lindus Clark again, standing up tall and making it difficult for the Belfast Jazz. Let's get your thoughts warm on the match here, folks. 3.22 to go in the period. You can tweet us at Belfast Giants TV. Face off to the right of Linskog. And another face off win by Starzinski. He's done a great job in the circle this evening. Well, Polsky sidesteps one. 
Apologies, locking and locking in. Feeds it through the middle, touched forward by Sakashik. Tyler Beskarani comes out to help that round the wall. Having that extra confidence to, to use your stick as a goaltender, helping your defenseman out is a great part of the game for him to have. Vandermeer and I under pressure, helped up to Higgins. Higgins feeds it through and onward to Rutherford. Rutherford has Blair Riley jumping in behind him. And he lets that pass off the wall and gets it back behind. He's to keep his head up. Side steps, there's going to be another penalty here. Great play again by David Rutherford. Give the puck up to them. They give the puck up to him, they've got the extra guy on. The 5-on-3 for 133. Riley got the extra skater. Best around the that shot coming through. Good save by the goaltender. Darcy Murphy now on the half wall to the top of the circles. Roach steps in, has a bit of space, shoots. Rebound off the legs again, off the defenseman. Sakashek, Higgins, down low for Riley. Gets it out front, touched up. 113 to go in the penalty, and the Jets are going to have a two man advantage. Five on three penalty here, Simon, for 113 or less, with 218 to go in the game. David Rutherford working really, really hard by the board. Gets tripped, I think the call is going to be from, from the referee there. And the Belfast chance, you've got to say, with a bit of an opportunity here, Simon. Five on three. Tom Cullen out again. You can maybe see the Jets calling a timeout here. And taking just a little few seconds to get a, a few fresh bodies out there. Adam Keith. He has indeed. It's actually Tom Cool, I think it's called one Simon. Who has? I think the kind of beats out. Adam smart move by Adam. So, 218 to go, Jimmy. Joel, what have you got for us? Tension absolutely palpable down at ice level here, Simon. Uh, an absolutely phenomenal last few minutes. The Belfast Giants have frustrated Katowice. They've used their hitting game, they've used their forecheck, and they've, they've created those penalties. The double minor, completely the right call. And astonishingly, another two minutes that would pretty much see out the game here. It's just critical now that the Belfast Giants keep the puck pin high, don't make any silly mistakes. Katowice head coach Tom Cullen, very, very visibly upset, and probably rightly so. Thanks again, Joel. I know you're going to grab uh, one of the coaches at the end of the game. So five on three, Debbie. A huge opportunity here for 113 for the Giants. Timeout called by the Katowice coach and face off one Dwyer takes it back down to the half wall at the hash marks to the point Roach again the chance need to work these guys they've only got one high man Vandermeer and Roach Jimmy Vandermeer steps in the top of the circle he shoots and it just goes over the top off the net there once again good clearance again and gotta give the gotta beat the players credit here Tevecca gets that one out and the chance have to tag up and reset up on to Roach on the outside. Josh Roach goes cross ice, and that's a good move from Roach, creating a bit of space. As Pat Dwyer on the opposite side of the ice now. Dwyer to Vandermeer. Sends it down low for Dwyer again. Dwyer round behind the net, tries to get it into the stick of Kyle Bond to the blue line for Roach. 27 seconds to go in the 5 on 3. Patrick Dwyer again. Dwyer lays it off for Vandermeer. Vandermeer looking for an avenue to shoot it, lays it off to Roach. A little bit of inter. Chance here, Roach shoots, oh, just wide of the post, 13 seconds to go. Fanatsky on his feet, ready to come out of the penalty box. Dwyer to the blue line for Roach now. Roach, he shoots, tips in front, Giants, 4 turn it up! Justin Jonner gets the goal! 108 to go, and there's 3 seconds to go on the penalty, which means they're still on the power play. Josh Roach here with the puck, Simon just gets into the top of the circle, releases it and Dustin Joller in front with the tip in. Dustin Joller, 18th goal of the season for him, Simon, or 17th goal, apologies, of the season. Puts the Giants 4 2 in front, 1 away left in the game, as you say, in 51 seconds of power play time still to come. Joel Neal will be talking to the head coach of the Belfast Giants after the game here. And 108 to go, 2 goal lead, 51 seconds to go on the power play. Belfast Giants are going to have to have a really disciplined period here, Dibby. Yeah, the Belfast Giants here, Calafici players. Tom Cullen has taken his players off the ice, he's taken his jacket off. He won't let his players come back onto the ice. And as the Belfast Giants are lined up for the face-off, 
They've got no opposition at the minute. Tom Cullen has called, has lost his curl, he's taken his jacket off, he's shouted at the referee, he's taken a misconduct call. He's telling the players to get back out on the ice at the minute, they're not coming. Tom Cullen thinks that the uh, second penalty should maybe be taken off, but unfortunately for him, there were still three seconds left. There was indeed, there was three seconds remaining on the penalty. Cullen not happy with that, and Tom Cullen has lost his cool. The Belfast Giants have a glorious opportunity here to take the six points into tomorrow. Looks like he's about to come on the bench there. Uh, the doors took a terrible batter in there the night seven, so it has. But Tom Cullen's away to get the first use of the hot water. It'll be an interesting conversation with him after the game, I've got to take now. But the chance, as I say, David, they need to stay focused here. There's still one minute and eight seconds remaining on this game. Simon, I have to say, that's the first time I've ever seen that. But a team refused to come back on the ice after a goal. No, I've been involved in the game. Look at Yeah, no, I was involved. Our head coach a long, long time ago. There was a couple of bad calls from the a Scottish referee, and he just told us to go to the dressing room. The crowd, Simon, engaged in it. Now it took, it took a while to really go, but my goodness, the old porn. Is there a dance cam on? Is there a dance cam? Looks like a dance cam on here. So. There's still, as I say, 68 seconds to go. The Giants need to stay focused. The bench on, on the uh, platform here. The Giants need to start focusing, Davey. It's not over yet. I know it's not Simon, but it's crazy just how a goal can lift an arena. The noise in here is incredible. It's been a great game. Both teams doing a great job. Got the extra penalty in the box there, so they're going to finish again 5 on 3. And this is a goal. Roll it for an inner shot. Shut. And a great glove save by the goaltender. Good glove save by Lindus Kyger. He's screaming for that puck to go outside the zone. The, the kind of BG players have kind of taken the same lead as their coach. Kind of lost the run themselves a wee bit here, Sam. But as you say, 46.8 seconds to go in the game. At least 30 seconds that is going to be spent killing a 5 on 3. Belfast Giants would do well here to try and keep the foot on the throat. So Belfast feeds it inside. Chance for the Giants to try the little toe drag there in a second. Whack at it from Darcy Murphy. He's already got two goals here tonight. Kanovic starting to skate forward. Josh Roach trying to keep her balance to the outside. That's a great defensive play by Roach. Rollerford now, 25 seconds on the clock. David Rollerford strides forward over the zone. Leaves it for Murphy. Goes to the back door for Higgins. Chance for Josh Roach, a little soft pass there. Knocked in there for Strides. Right with the shot. It's good save again by the goaltender. Chris Higgins, the top of the circle, sends it across. Blair out, he's going to take it the whole way back. And that's going to do us here at the SSC Arena. The Giants with a 4 2 victory, taking six points into the weekend. And an all. A battle tomorrow night against Ireland for the championship. Simon, it's just where we wanted to be. We we'll have to do the business on Friday and Saturday to make Sunday worth anything. Set up now. Number one seed Ireland, number two seed Belfast Giants, and a winner takes all. Competition tomorrow night, five o'clock right here. Game one a goal scored by Curtis Leonard. I thought he was outstanding tonight. Simon, for many of the D-men, for me, the defensive core as a unit, every one of them I could have picked. Mark Gorsai, Jim Vandermeer, Roche alongside Curtis Leonard there, all had really superb games. Lenny, of course, coming up with a game-winning goal. Hard to argue with that decision. I wonder if Joe can jump in there now and get a chat with Joe or with uh, Adam Keith before the uh, pleasantries are are handed out, or okay. Adam Kelly might be out, he's slightly busy at the minute. Yeah, we're going to let him go, and we'll get him in just a minute. And for Canavici, Simon? Canavici, the player of the match. 62, Yanni locking in. He had a quiet start in the game, but it was a great goal to, to get the, the uh, teams back to 2-2, did we? Yeah, you can see the body language here tonight from Canavici. They'll go down and salute what's been an incredible bunch of fans. Enjoy their company all weekend long, but you know, for them, it's tournament over for them, Simon. Now, of course, they've got a game tomorrow, but you know, and they're, they're out of the running as far as uh, silverware is concerned. But you know, bronze is still available, yeah, but that's bronze and silver. The Giants man of the match here, player of the game tonight, number 10, Curtis Leonard, game winning goal for the assistant captain, and he's done a great job there tonight for his team. The Giants with a 4 2 victory, and Davey, that's a big, big result.
Simon, at stages through this game, it was tight, but you know, two each, but we've gone away, we came away with the win. Officials are now the sponsor tonight, Rain Check, local restaurant in Belfast. Thank you very much for your support. And they're in behind, and we're going to pause for the Giants anthem here. For the anthem of tonight's winning team, the Belfast Giants. Congratulations again to the Stanley Belfast Giants, David. And as I say, we're going to go down to the bench here. Adam Keith looks like he's about to walk off, so we're going to get Joel to jump in and have a chat with the head coach if he's got time. He has indeed. Joel, let's hear from the head coach. Thanks, Simon. Joined by head coach Adam Keith. Adam, the last time Katowice were in Belfast, we lost 4 2. Tonight, you reversed that score. Your thoughts on an absolute battle tonight? Yeah, they're a very good team. Uh, they certainly uh, made us work for that tonight. And, uh, you know, it was a big response from the guys in the third period, obviously with a, a massive goal there by Curtis Leonard to start us off there in the third period. That was huge for uh, our confidence and our mindset going into the third period. And tomorrow night sets up a winner-takes-all clash against Ireland. What are you expecting from that? Another high-tempo game? Uh, yeah, I will actually expect the tempo to be a little less than today, uh, to be honest with you. I think that they'll... Play very similar to yesterday's team, but they'll be very clinical in their on their offensive chances. So we got to limit them as well. Play smart defensively, and when we get our chances, we got to take them because we're not going to get too many chances tomorrow with the way that our land plays. Congratulations, coach. Thanks for your time. Thank you. Thanks very much, Joel. Thanks for your words again, David. A great victory for the Stanley Belfast Giants tonight. Simon, they're just heading off on their victory lap here tonight. The floor absolutely rocking. At times we're under the pump there tonight, but the quick goal in the third period really lifted the spirits of the guys in the going on their fantastic win. Tom Coolen lost his cool towards the end after that uh, uh, two plus two was handed out for high sticks. The referee didn't see it, it was called by the, the linesman. It's a big, big call to go against his team. He wasn't happy with the initial call, as you say, called by a linesman, and as I said at the time, as long as they're getting the calls right, Blair Riley does the captain's job, calls the referee in and says, need to come and have a look here. The rules are, you get a cut sign, there's still a minor. It's a crack call, Belfast Giants able to score on the power play. We've got to come back tomorrow. Big, big day tomorrow. Katowice versus Gomel at 3 p.m. 7, sorry, my apologies, 1 p.m. tomorrow. 5 p.m. The Stanline Belfast Giants versus the Arlen Kuxgetsai and Divi. This is going to be a real battle here tomorrow afternoon. That's hard not to get involved with. This Tyler Besker, Romani. Well, you know, Tyler Besker, Romani, saluting the crowd. Boomerang corner being outstanding again tonight. But yes, we've got to do it all again tomorrow. Big game. Simon, you took that at the start of the weekend. 60 minutes to play for the trophy. You know, it's all set up for a fantastic oh, final. Just down over Davy's shoulders, the Katowice fans, they have been absolutely fantastic all weekend long. A credit to their organisation, a credit to their team. Their players are, are actually showing their appreciation to them here, right behind us right now. But that's going to do us for Belfast Giants TV tonight. Thanks to everyone behind the scenes. Joel Neal, Davy McChimsey, myself, Simon Kitchen. Don't miss tomorrow, 5 p.m. for the final. We'll be here, Arlan versus the Stanley Belfast Giants. Thanks very much and good night.